What happened, good people? Rob right here in the building. What Rob is about to do, we gonna take us a little walk. You feel me? We just gonna walk. Everybody else be walking here. Why can't I get my walk on? Shit. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the unfiltered Rob. You hear me? Because Rob Allbanks is just the stage name. Right here, this the government. This like my government channel. Because it's got my, you feel me, me, me. Rob Allbanks is just a rapper. He raps, okay? That's what he do. Rob D? Rob D do everything. And Rob D don't hold, you feel me? Rob D don't hold it back. He gonna let you, he gonna let you hear it. If you wanna hear it, I'm sorry. And if you get offended, then you need to get the hell up off the channel. Flat out. So, but before I get the walking, let me um hook this up right quick. I wanted to play some music too, dog. Man, I can't even. Get, matter of fact, watch this. I want. I'm, we we gonna play this song right here by Rob All Banks. You feel me? Too bad I can't get it to play on the big. Get it to play on the big um. On the big speaker, that's what I mean. The big speaker. Oh, that's right. I know everybody gonna be flipping and flipping and flipping on this vertical live shit. It's all good. Let's go right here, right quick. I wanna play something if I can play it. Don't look like they gonna let me play it. Came okay, in two days ago. Wow, guys. I think that's on. I could have sworn I put it on here. Let's go back and look. Happy New Year, everybody. It is March the 1st. Not March the 1st, but the first day of spring. Like a long time ago. Before January was even a fucking word, um, March was the beginning of the new year. For you people that don't want to get on that time or don't want to accept that shit, go do your diligent research. Do your research on this shit, man. Stop believing what motherfuckers is out here telling you that ain't making sense. Oh, yeah, Rob going ham on this channel right here. So for all them people... They're coming up from here on Rob thinking it's going to be, you know, Rob All Banks. No, this a whole, this Rob right here, this nigga right here, you already hit. Unfiltered, that's the title of this motherfucker, man. YouTube might block this shit, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck some friends. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Not on here. It ain't about that shit. It's about getting... What's out to the fucking people so that the people can have a, a choice to make their own decision about some shit. Hopefully, these stupid motherfuckers make the right decision because a lot of these dumb motherfuckers are stuck on stupid. And no matter what you tell them, they don't, this shit ain't comprehending because common sense these days is at an all-time motherfucking low. I done said this shit I don't know how many times. So then, like I said, this channel right here, everybody don't really know about this channel. And if it get monetized in, I ain't even, fuck all that. I ain't studying if it do or don't. If it do, it do cool. I ain't even trying to register it for that shit. This right here is just something for me to get this shit up off my chest to the people in a way that you be like, damn. Okay, it do, you know what I'm saying? But then a lot of people, like, like I was listening to somebody... I was listening to somebody earlier and they was like, you know, people are always going to try to find some negative shit to say about you. And pretty much I see that because this motherfuckers that's on this YouTube that be talking shit about me. And then they be trying to use like these little subliminal fake ass messages and shit. But then if I call them fuck niggas out, yeah, they're going to be mad. But this the fucking Internet, man. What can you do on the Internet unless you pull the fuck up or unless I pull the fuck up on you? Then, 
We can handle this shit. But other than that, man, just talk your talk. Because I'm going to talk my talk. Now, let's see what the fuck I was doing. Oh, on my other channel, I was talking about um, these Hispanics. These illegal immigrants is what I was talking about. And seeming that all I see is Hispanics... I mean, I'm pretty sure they showed some Asians on the TV the other day, but, you know, I hadn't seen no illegal Asians. Not saying that they ain't here, because them motherfuckers here, too. And not just them illegal motherfuckers, period, man. You got some illegal niggas over here, too. Shit. I'm not mad at the immigrants, yo. I just want to get you illegal motherfuckers up out of here, because y'all over here doing shit that the black man can't even do. You feel me? And that shit right there, man. Mm -mm, that shit ain't adding up to me. So you can call it what you want. Shit. Man, he said Rob's. No, nah, nigga. I'm straight up letting these motherfuckers know. Hey, you need to come and get so and so and so and so because they ass don't need to be the fuck over him. And they ain't got the they ain't got that paperwork. So what y'all gonna do? Instead of using these motherfuckers as slaves. Because that's what you're doing. And then you're telling them whatever you're telling them. Because some of them be walking around here thinking they better than a nigga that was born here. See, them can I be ready to slap the fuck out of. Slap, slap their ass to sleep. Oh, Lakin Kisses. What's up, Lakin? Tanya D, what's happening? Cool Gamer, what's up, Cool Gamer? Appreciate you for coming through. What's going on with it? I'm about to take a little walk in a minute. I'm about to walk around the block and let y'all see some shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know what's really what's really going on. Because I keep telling y'all, man, these people not coming over here across the border, coming over here to fucking Alabama without, you know what I'm saying? And they don't know nothing or nobody. Nah, you that shit already got to be set the fuck up. It's already got to be set up. Because when you're coming, because... When the illegals coming over to this motherfucker, they don't know nothing, nobody, unless they people is already here and set that shit up for them. And then nine times out of 10, you better believe it's going to be a white man or a black man with some money that's using these niggas. And they think that, oh, we, we made it to America, the big dream. Man, fuck America. America still owe a debt. It's past time they cut the motherfucking check. They over here giving Ukrainians $400 million and shit. And you got motherfuckers down here standing on the corner with signs in their hands talking about, I need some help for food. I need some shelter because I'm homeless. But you sending the motherfuckers $400 million. Yeah. Yeah. So what she did was she is the legal one. All of her kids and she put the house in her and they paid her rent. Yeah. So you know they ain't, they probably ain't paying shit, but they got to be paying. They got to pay them some. She got to pay. If you run them tags, all them tags probably, cars probably in her name too. So that right there, that's some. Look and see where they all expired. That's some illegal shit. Yes, it is. 
And these motherfuckers around here acting like they... Like they doing it. I'm going to start... <laughs> Woo! I ain't going to do nothing. I just hope they don't start pissing me off. I left her ass there. Oh, snap. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what kind of what kind of judge they got around this motherfucker. I really don't, honey. Somebody asked for to go to jail, ain't it? Yeah, if you can smell it behind me, you know the police can smell it. But they ain't doing they ain't gonna do shit. Depends on who the police is. He was trying, but that dude was trying to get to that freeway. But I told him I way he stopped it, man. He said, really, I ain't in trouble. They ain't burning. It's true. Mm-hmm. So that's what the deal is. Mm-hmm. I just, I noticed, you know, and I've been noticing that, too. That's why I seem like they, they, like they be trying to hide shit from a nigga. Playing musical this and that and all that shit. Damn, what the hell was that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I peeped another game too. You might be right. Mother might be a damn, is this a cost? Damn show is. Yeah, who the fuck's sitting right there? I don't know if I'm sitting right there. 
don't know. Somebody in this car. Let go. Some crazy ass niggas. I don't know who car. They sitting in front of them. No, hell no. Sitting in front of the neighbors next door. Like they trying to hide behind the bush. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> like I said, long as your ass ain't violating my shit, we we got we all right, but you soon as you go to fuck with my shit, we got problems. We gonna have some problems. Cause I ain't gonna be able to rest to like do some shit about it. Gotta come back and go to make a whole year. Because I was dropping the man out of the garden. So he can be ready. By the time I drop him off, Mr. Jones ought to be ready. So pick him up. Mm-hmm. He's gonna give us the baby. I ain't gonna tell you, he might be running the whole house. <laughs> Help us next though. Yeah, nah, cause they ugly as hell. They look like they, they look like they finna have a yard sale next door. They look like, damn, wait a minute, didn't that shit come out of <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, man. I ain't got the pallet jack. I ain't got the pallet jack oh, around this motherfucker. You got the what? I got the pallet jack around this motherfucker. You know that shit y'all had at uh, Home Depot? What do you mean? I don't know what the fuck you. I don't know what he finna do. Cause you know, um, he had to buy his own stove refrigerator. I can close the Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That's what that is. Damn, you call damn like you all right. I'm trying to see where you at. I said, I'm heading to, I said, I'm heading to who? Yeah, for real? I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got one more person. Hi, who? Bye. Oh, these fake-ass, um, type of shit. Somebody gonna beat his ass. He ain't gonna like it. Lord, he left the artwork. White Jesus. I wonder why I can't sing that.
Do what? Check downfall. It's a way they can get in through there. Because the black day just came from back there. Back where? From back there. I got somebody back yard. Oh, so, oh, I heard. That one, it was. No, nah, that lady ain't black. Talking about the lady with that no, shit on her head. It's a black lady because she took out of her car. She's getting them some food. She got that shit on her head. She got that plastic shit on her head. No. Oh, okay, I about to say that lady was Spanish. She was she was speaking Spanish walking around this motherfucker. I'm like, this bitch crazy. She, she looked like she was black. I'm telling I'm looking. This ain't no fucking Hispanic lady. I'm, I'm looking right at the lady. She black like me. She ain't Hispanic. She drove, got out of her car, and took them a box and got back in her car. Took who a box? Them, they got the tent. They moved it uh, around there by the, by the uh, uh, tree. Oh, you talking about them homeless motherfuckers? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Them fake ass. I thought you were talking about that motherfucker walking up the street. That's what I thought you was down in the alley. I was telling all that lady, she ain't, she, she got down Hispanic. But she walking around this bitch talking loud as hell on the phone. Get it, 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 No, I know you ain't. You ain't even. Was, you ain't even near. Her. I was thinking, I ain't gonna... Happen, Let me do this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure this shit's straight, y'all. Hold on. 
said I was going to take a walk. Tanya D is here, so. Lord have mercy. I got to hear her shit. This just live for the hell of it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you know what else I noticed too? That red car ain't got no Tennessee tag on it no more. Got an Alabama tag on it now. That's why they were hiding that bitch. Hiding the license plate on it. <laughs> yep. Cause they always kept that motherfucker paw right there, trying to cover it up. Got damn right. What they do? They did yet. Oh, aside from the, aside from the gun shooting. And trash all over the place. They ain't did that. I know all they ass ain't legal either. I know that much. Cause I'm like, oh, look at this shit. sit right here for a minute and talk to y'all. What's going on? Who up in here? Y'all see how that sun hitting that melanin? How you love that? I could probably see the little grocery store from here. But it's funny. Y'all gonna put a cost plus 10 in the black neighborhood. Ain't no cost plus 10 in Hoover. Ain't no cost plus 10 in Vestavia. I damn sure know it ain't now in Mount Brook. Or any of those other white neighborhoods, so to speak. Window. <laughs> Ooh, by the same wheat, I'm B2. in here eating a pear guys eating a pear talking to y'all so oh, I got plenty more do say say stop acting like a de mommy This heifer right here can't drive, y'all. Look. She cannot drive to save her life. She probably had the wrecks and them shits. Because she can't drive. 
And look at that shit. Look at that. She come all the way around now, do a fucking U-turn. That bitch can't drive. Yeah, I'm talking about your ass. You can't drive. She can't drive. You have to watch them. They're going hit your shit and ran the fuck off somewhere. Mm-hmm. But what I really wanted to do is walk down here to this, um, this little about-to-be grocery store, whatever the fuck it's about to be. Whatever it is, it's got the Mexican colors on it. So it's about to be a Mexican grocery store, probably. So that must mean there's some Mexicans around here. Hmm. But we got that ragged ass, old ass Piggly Wiggly with that old food in there that they be selling. Hell, they got a huge ass grocery store in Homewood. I might need to go check that shit out for myself and see what it's like. See you shortly. You gone? Yeah, for good this time. I won't be back till I'm home. So they a short day? No. Wednesday. Okay, guys, so we're now that on. Uh, Tony did and did. We just gonna take us a little walk down the street. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all how far I live from the main highway. It's right there. Hell, you can see it from right here. Boy, yeah. See that? That's the main highway. And just go down this alley and walk right to it. Okay, guys, so. Let's go for a walk. Hey, smell like somebody been cooking up in here. What's out there food? Oh, Tony D and brought home some chicken. Yep, frozen chicken. That must mean she finna clean it, so we might get us a chicken cleaning video later on. Oh man, I saw it was like three, four, five, six of y'all. I mean, a few of y'all up in the building that came through. Probably came through on the uh, the vertical live. Yeah, that's probably how y'all ran into me. Let's go for a walk. Okay, guys, I know y'all want to. So let's go and take us a little walk. I just want to let y'all see how. Let's see what well, it's 34 minutes. So we're going to see how long it takes us to get down here to this to this store. It ain't going to take too long. Make sure I got everything I need. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to get strapped up just in case. Okay. Got that. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Yeah. 
Now see, this the shit I be talking about right here. Somebody gonna run over that shit. Get that goddamn shit up. Before I go to goddamn hollering at your ass. What are you doing? Bonjour. You a dude, you a fucking idiot. I don't know what the hell you talking about. Get your bitch ass off my page with that gay shit. Fuck boy. Ain't nobody over here gay, so take that stupid ass shit somewhere the fuck else. Get it the fuck away from me. See how long this shit take. Oh, this shit right here is so. a Go through this way, can you? Look at this shit. Got children, Jordans and shit. All kind of shit. Stinking over here. Look at this. Nasty. girl just putting just throwing the bottle all in the goddamn street for somebody to come and drive over that shit and bust they tire drive over I'm, a, I'm walking through truck driving school because i wasn't going through the alley i just cut through today y'all that's all to the good i just cut through this right here is my stick I meant to go down there so I can show y'all something, but I'll come back up this way. Okay. Yeah. You know what the fuck they got going on out here? But let me show y'all something, though, guys. Since I'm out here, this shit right, this all this little area out here, this like truck driving school or something. This is where they be truck driving at. And then the house is right back, back there. You can tell when you get a new truck driver because they don't know what they doing. They be tearing up the trucks. They be making all kind of noise and shit. Motherfucker out here been doing donuts and shit. All kind of shit. This right here. Oh, this used to be the club. Right? Like, see, nightclub and shit. All that shit over there. That used to be the club. Then you used to have a grocery store right there. All kind of shit. But see, this right here is the main highway. I don't support LGBT, brother. So get the fuck away from me with that shit, okay, please? I'm gonna have to block your ass. Cause I don't I don't fuck I don't do that. You can take that shit somewhere else, homeboy. I told your monkey stupid ass. I don't fuck with the LGB, whatever the fuck it is, element of P. I don't support that shit because that's an abomination. I don't need you supporting me. Go support your own kind. That's what you do. Stay the fuck off mine. But anyway, yeah. As you can see, they down there practicing 18 wheeler driving. This is a nice little thing though. This right here, my friend, is the main highway. 
So let's just walk and see what we see. Oh, there go the little stove right over there. I don't know if they washing cars over here, but it look like they washing cars. So this is a little car washing spot. How you doing? Oh, that's the lady I seen walking around my neighborhood. Right there with that shit on her head. <laughs> no, she was a black lady. Saludos, bro. Saludos. Welcome to Unfiltered. You know what the business is. Ain't no hoes bars on this channel. I'm telling it like a T.I. is. Now, but I do that on the other channel too, but on this channel right here, bro, this is where you get the, um, what you call that? The vulgarity and all that other good shit. Because see right here, this this going to be the channel a motherfucker ain't going to want to come to. Because I'm cussing your ass out. I'm doing all that shit right here. Word up. Because really though, bro, a lot of these people, they really need to know. You can't be coming on other folks shit talking all that crazy shit and not get no backlash from it. Now, a lot of these channels, I understand that's how they operate. So the thing here, just respect it doofully. Now, right here, bro, I'm right here at the intersection of 57th Street, Inchley, Bessemer Road. Predominantly a A black neighborhood but as you can see they about to put this Mexican store right here in the middle of the hood in the middle of the motherfucking hood they finna put up this grocery store oh let me show it to you right there but I got I've been trying to get these regular ass motherfuckers from City Council to give us a grocery store over here. But they gonna put this shit up right here. Now, for all the folks that's from this way, y'all know that's the Pizza Hut right there that used to be on the corner, right? That's the Pizza Hut. They boarded that shit up. But I seen some folks over there. Matter of fact, let's just go on over here. You see, I got my walking stick with me. So if I run into any bullshit, I'ma hit a motherfucker with this stick. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, gotta be diplomatic on Rob Albanks, yeah. Do the YT, yeah, you right. But over here, fuck YT rules. I'm going ham. Like I, like I should have been going. But I got caught up into that YouTube system. And how they operate and do shit. So I'm trying to comply. Because I get a little money from the motherfucker. So. I can easily say fuck the money. But let me enjoy that shit for a minute. Until I get tired of it. Because I'm just using it for my benefit. What's good? What's good? Ain't that until, you know. I'm just out here walking around. Animal clinic. Oh, yeah, I'm just walking by the animal clinic right now. I'm surprised. Yeah, this right here is the old Pizza Hut. Hello to all in the chat from Proud Mix. Shoot, Proud. It's like I got a mute crowd up in here. Ain't nobody really saying shit. But it's all good. Look. Damn. You can look at that store and tell that ain't finna be black. Nothing. Nothing. Where we at, Inslee? Bessemer? Look, see this road right here? You see where that black car going? If I go all the way down this road, bro, I could take you to a whole goddamn community of illegal motherfuckers. But then, like I was saying, you got bitches like Katie Britt. This hoe right here, the new senator, fuck you looking at? Oh, I'm going off. Uh, she is the new senator for Alabama, mind you, talking shit about immigration. But at the same time, her husband is hiring these motherfuckers. And I don't mean to say it like that, but that's just what it is. Her husband is hiring their ass. 
And they and, and they doing this shit like it's a okay. A o motherfucking k. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I saw your replay live from yesterday. I was laughing at the cat talking about Alabama, a flyover town. Alabama get bucked, make no mistake. Oh, yeah, I told him that. He come down here with that Fugazi bullshit if he want to, just because he, just he from Chicago and everything. Shit, they murdering everywhere. Somebody just got killed the other day. Look, bro, we didn't had seven homicides within the last seven days in this place, man. Seven fucking homicides in the last seven days, but then they talking about don't go to Jamaica, don't go to all these places overseas. Man, fuck that. You can damn, you could die at your own motherfucking place. You could die at your own spot. You ain't got to go to no. You ain't got to go to another country to get murked. You can get murked in your own fucking backyard. And I just wish these stupid ass people in the media and these stupid ass people that go along with the media yeah they go along with them oh y'all see my brother on the bike yeah turn that shit up i don't care about no copyright yeah he said he on the corner dance hold on let me turn it around so y'all can see uh Y'all see him in the background. Some Marvin Cease or some Marvin Gay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Pump that shit up. Oh, I'm just walking away now. I came up. Oh, bro, the place I'm finna go down to now. You see the place behind me? Boy, it's flooded. It's flooded with illegal immigrants, y'all. And they don't even know. But see, this is what they do. They come over here to our neighborhood. They come over here to our neighborhood and in our communities and set up shop. And then we be over here looking crazy as hell. Now I'm gonna give a shout out to my partner and them because they had, they illegals cleaned their house up yesterday and that was cool around the corner. Oh, I can't be. I gotta pull my clothes up because I don't want my uh, I don't want my iron to fall on the ground. But yeah, guys, look. Let me turn it around so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Y'all see this? This right here is straight up the ghetto. Straight up. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. Look at this. Violence is everywhere. Exactly, bro. Violence everywhere. You can walk outside and get hit. Now look at all this right here. What is this? This right here, straight hood tools right here. We call call this one on the west side. Oh, this building right here ain't even got no roof. You see it? This bitch ain't even got no roof. Nah. What we got going on back here? Mm-hmm. Oh, these right here are condos, though, bro. These are condos. You hear me? Let's look at the sign. Let's look at the sign. What the sign say? What the sign say? Toyway zone. No trespassing. Man, look, I'm going to tell you one thing. You see that right there? In a few more, in a few more months, that shit gonna be a volleyball court. Yeah, it's gonna be a volleyball court, bro. I'm telling you, on everything I love. Then I could probably, oh, see, that's where that come through right there. If I go out of here and go around that way, it'll take me right there. But then there's so much trash right there. That shit ridiculous, man. Mm, I look up here. What we got here? Somebody riding the bike? Hold on. You know I got Zoom capability on this phone. Who is that over there riding the bike? Maybe it's a little kid I can do an interview with him. 
Yeah, man, I, I feel you, bro. I really do. I don't, I don't work on the land, but I love the land. You feel me? Damn, what we got going on? Is school out or something? No, it's 153. School ain't out yet. They probably just getting off the bus. Okay, look, I got manhole covers. Yeah, I thought I could get out that way, but the damn fence right there, so I can't. They done built a fence around this whole place, man. You see what I'm saying? They done built a fence around this place. So you already know what that mean, right? I done pretty much. Come on over here if you want to, little doggy. I'm gonna put this stick down your throat. You know, I don't like to be mean to the puppies or the animals or nothing like that, because I like dogs, for real, I like dogs. But when they try to come and attack me, Oh, yeah, I got something for you, buddy. I promise you. I'm going to cut him from ear to ear like he stole some. And see, this is what I be talking about right here. The evidence. You see the evidence? See the evidence right there? That's just evidence. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that girl in the big-ass the big ass van? Mm-hmm. She coming over here, too. She stay here, too. And K. Ivy signed another bill. Man, K. Ivy ain't shit. K. Ivy ain't shit, I'm telling you. But what she doing? It ain't for us. It's definitely not for the people, I tell you that. Look, the bill, I don't even know what bill K. Ivy signed. I really don't, but the thing with this Katie Brick chick. Oh yeah, bro, they gonna have the whole, this whole thing gonna be Hispanic before long. Mm-hmm. And see, I did me some research today too. Come to find out that the house across the street from me owned by this Honduran lady that has another house and what she do is she go around buying houses in the black communities selling them to her people well not even selling them but renting them to her people am I mad at that no I ain't mad at that what I am pissed off is at the illegality of this shit if you ain't goddamn got your papers over here bro and all and all that other shit then what the fuck what the fuck is you doing why the fuck is you over here taking up space infringing on people that's been here all their lives they whole motherfucking life and then when they start robbing your ass you wonder why you wonder why you wonder why the hispanics out here getting robbed because they ain't got no bank account and they don't really supposed to be over here like they like that that's what you call being, they slipping. You shouldn't do that. But they ass getting got, so. I'm just letting you know. Hold on. I'm just letting you know. That's how that is. I can wait walk around this whole block, around this whole corner, this whole goddamn, um, I'm telling you, bro, this whole shit. Freedom, embracing diversity of cultures and backgrounds and treating people fairly are all key components of what we believe in Alabama. And I am more than confident that we will continue. Man, that bitch lying through her teeth. Oh, you see this right here, bro? This right here, the picnic area. This right here gonna be the picnic area. See what I'm saying? And then the killing part is my house right up there. Up there. So, I mean, shit. Oh, let's go look look back at the sign. So they probably looking and they nervous now because it said no trespassing, residents and invited guests only. Others will be prosecuted. But see, the thing about that, bro, is if a motherfucker come down here and lay this whole complex down, and lay this whole complex down, 
Ain't nobody gonna be able to do shit. You know why? Cause they ain't got no paperwork. They ain't got no paperwork. Now I'm gonna find out who owns these hoes too. That's gonna be my next mission. I'm gonna find out who owns these hoes. Cause you can't, t you ain't gonna tell me that everybody that's living in this motherfucker done got their green card. It's a process to that shit. And they just been here two goddamn weeks. They ain't even been here a whole month yet. Oh yeah, somebody said, you be watching. You know why? Because I'm the neighborhood watch, goddammit. And if your ass don't belong over here, you need to get the fuck away from over here. Because I'm tired of people coming over here that don't live over here, destroying the fucking community, doing shit like this. Doing shit like this. Now, I'm going to ask you something. Where the fuck them rubber tires come from? Who the fuck put some rubber tires out and dumped them hoes on the side of the road? Who the fuck did that? Who the fuck did that? I'm going to tell you who did it. Motherfuckers that stay in that house right there. Because they the only one with the big ass van driving through this hole. Mm-hmm. Ties probably still on the damn, still on the damn street. Ooh, maybe I ought to just stand right here for a minute and, and get me a sign. Check the first part. She signed a DEI bill, and this is what she said. We have already taken action to prevent this in our K-12 through classrooms. And I am pleased to sign SB 129 to protect our college campuses, supporting academic freedom, embracing diversity. Oh, man, that whole lying her ass off. She lying her ass off, bro. This is a political stunt. That bitch don't give a fuck about no culture. Shit. If she did, Alabama wouldn't have the most lowest school or lowest education in the motherfucking United States. We just wouldn't have it if she cared about culture and education and shit. That bitch don't get no fuck. She just lying in her pockets trying to keep these, uh, should I say it, dare I say it, trying to keep these white folks happy. That's all that is. Trying to keep their ass happy. Uh-oh. I meant to turn this around. Yeah, that's all. She just trying to keep their ass happy, bro. She ain't with that shit for real, like she say. Politics. Politics. And then I don't know if I showed you. Look. Hold on. Let me turn this around. See, this right here is an old pizza hut. Now you see what they doing, right? They washing cars. And then you tell me why on every goddamn corner is a motherfucking car wash. Tell me that. Answer me that shit. On every goddamn corner up and down this thing right here. I'm telling you, if you go back down that way, you go back that way, you're going to see a slew of them hoes. A slew of car washes. Yeah. Oh, this is the midfield animal clinic right here. Sometimes I think they be, and you know what people do? They'll come by this motherfucker and drop their animals off and leave. Yeah. They will drop their animals off and leave, bro. That's what they do. Now, nah, okay. Answer me. And then look. Another thing, I, I meant to I meant to say this while I was down there. How the fuck did she get that big ass truck living in this slum ass place? It, this shit the slum, bro. Right here, this shit the slums. They might have redid a little something to it, but this shit still the slum. They put a nice little gate up here and shit. This shit still the slums, bro. It look a little clean for right now. 
Till the motherfuckers start dumping trash all over the place. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Because look, right here, right there, all around there, they, you see the trash can, don't you? You see the trash can right there. So that right there in itself, I got to figure out how to tag the video so that I can let the right people see this shit. Put everybody names in this hole. Hashtag them so that they can see it. Now, a minute ago, the old black lady was staying right here. They done ran her up out of here. Yeah, because all they ass up in this bitch now. And then I heard the hoe out there talking. She don't speak no English. Speak, don't speak no English. Speak, to, talk to me in English, goddammit. Oh, either, cause why should I have to conform to your shit? You in my, you in my house. The world is overpopulated. That's why Bill Gates trying to cut down, give everybody a vaccine that these stupid motherfuckers ain't really paying attention to. He trying to control the goddamn population. Why you think they come out with all these vaccines and shit, motherfucker dying? It's eight billion people in the world. I'm pretty sure it's more than that now. Okay, now look at this shit. Do, do this even match? Oh, they know. They probably think I'm, um, what you call that? Immigration or some shit. They get scared then. Oh, we see one black man walking around here. Who is he? Who is he? What is he doing? I'm the nigga that's gonna make sure that y'all shit stay straight. Cause if not, then I sure hate to have to call the motherfucking ice people on you bitches. And then look, bro, when they get their ass over here, ass don't be here that long. Fuck around, be driving some shit like this. But then me, you'll tell me my credit ain't good. My credit ain't, I can't even go get me a motherfucking, a G.O. prism without having good credit. But these hoes go get them Toyotas. Cause they, that's all they drive, fucking Toyotas and Hondas. Peep the game when I go back up here. When I go back up here, you'll see. I'm gonna show you. Fucking Toyotas and Hondas. And then I'm pretty sure they drive other shit too. But see, look at that, they already dumping shit back there. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in for you. See if I can zoom in. Look at that. What the fuck is that? What is that in the bushes already? Shit already in the bushes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I hate I have to go to the point where I have to get the goddamn pistol. Because you got some ignos over here. I'm gonna tell you something, that house empty. That house empty. And I think that white house right there, but you got two houses empty back to back. Oh, this house right here empty too. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they ain't in this motherfucker. This is a duplex. It's got all the room. But give it some time. They'll be in there too. Man, it's way out of line, bro. It's way out of line. And it's up to us, for real, it's up to us to get this shit back right. Because guess what? We gonna end up in a war. I'm talking about a real war. We already at war, but we really gonna be at a fucking war. When the shit hit the fan fan. Cause I'm telling you, I'm just walking around the neighborhood showing you shit and letting you see what the fuck going on. See my amigo back dusting on the back porch now. Nah. Let me see if I can zoom in on his ass. You see him? Yeah, that's somebody out there watching me, watching them. Mm-hmm, you see him? All that. That's just somebody who ain't got no job. Probably waiting on the next man. 
get off that job. Yeah, bro, I got my iron with me, so if it go down, I'm strapped. That's why I keep pulling my pants up every two minutes. I should have tied these. <laughs> I should have tied these holes up. I got my stick. I got my iron and my blade. Look at little, look at little Cujo right there. What's up, buddy? I ain't heard you bog now time. Relax your voice. Save your voice. Save your voice for them cats. You come over here and fuck with me, I'm putting this stick in your throat. I ain't lying. I ain't got time. And then, like I was saying, the little girl kicking bottles in the street and shit. What the fuck? Young lady, don't do that. People got to drive their cars on this motherfucker, man. Then fuck around, one of your tires run over. Then you'll be out here looking crazy. Whew, shit. That's a nice little walk for me. And then I'll be asking questions like, how the fuck you get, how the fuck they get pistols and shit too? See what I'm saying? You Don't you got to show some type of ID to buy them home? See, I came through this way early. Through this way right here. This way I came. Whoo, shit, it's hot. It's getting a little hot. Mm-hmm. It's super hot. My damn sign done fell down. Look, it ain't been no dumping over here, though. I need to pick, pick my shit back up. Oh, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, she calling her daughter. Oh. Latanya, Latanya's cooking for the soul plus more. What's up? I'm gonna set this, give you a stando. Yeah, I tried to make it the bingo, but y'all didn't, y'all didn't put no more, um, y'all didn't put no more numbers out. Let me do this right here. Can you see? I got to put my sign back on. See, that wasn't bad, was it? We ain't blew that shit down last time. Whew, shit. It's hot. Man, I'm tired. Like, I've been doing some real work, bro. Oh, let me turn around. So you can see. Let's see, like I say, right? Oh, that shit. Bam. Then you have to you have to watch cause motherfuckers be coming around here dumping shit. For real, man. Motherfuckers like they 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 like living nasty around this whole song. I ain't with that shit. I don't want the fucking rats and the roaches crawling all up in my shit. <laughs> fucking nasty. Motherfuckers be nasty, yo. Real talk. Straight the fuck up. Man, they think that shit cute. <laughs> but you saw what I saw, right? You saw that, right? So what if I just turn this bitch right here? To the motherfucking bazooka.
blow that whole shit off the motherfucking brain, man. Not half of it, but all that shit. Let me go ahead and wash my hands, dog. I'm going to end this live, too, in a minute. Because I done been out here for what? A few minutes. Oh, I ain't show you. Maybe it, man. So since I'm in a shit-talking mood, like this hole right here. Let me show y'all this motherfucker right here. When we first moved over here, this bitch was all speaking, speaking. Now this whole ass like she don't know a motherfucker no more. Fake ass. These motherfuckers with this goddamn. See what I'm saying? Hondas and Toyotas. That's it. Hondas and Toyotas. Oh, you saw my uh, what you gonna call it, bro? Let me show you. I might bring back the literal series. I might. Cause somebody gonna see that the sign been put up and then just out of spite because i did it they'll throw some trash down there but guess what i fuck around and step out the house with that ar because these niggas right here they like to shoot for fun they be wasting they bullets i ain't on that type of time bro if i pull my shit up I'm going to be aiming to shoot something or murk that shit. Fuck all that play play. Yeah, you see they ran their ass in the house? Hold on, let me step back outside for a minute. See, when I get to go to talking good shit, bitches take their ass back in the house. They hold right here. Saying this is the type of shit I have to live around. You feel me? This is one reason why people, this one reason why the Jeffersons pick their shit up and move to the east side. <laughs> this is why the Jeffersons move to the east side, my nigga. Exactly why. Especially when you're dealing with shit like that, man, it's a sad shame. It's a sad shame. Ooh, let me take this hat off. And I'm busting the sweat. Oh, the baldy. Mm, hold on, y'all. Let me wash my hands. Mm -hmm. Rob does wash his hands. Look. You can see it. How many seconds should I wash? Mm hmm. Wash. Wash. My brothers told me to never up if you not popping. Exactly, Latanya. I don't do that shit. All that showing your pistol for show and all that shit shooting up in the air. I ain't got time for that because that's a waste of bullets. And then that just give you an opportunity to try to, you feel me, do something to me. While I'm thinking it's all pieces and cream in the night. Nah, you don't, you don't do that shit. Okay, my bad, y'all. My bad. I ain't mean to leave y'all in here like that. My goodness, let me take y'all with me. Woo! Anyway, that was a nice little walk. One of these days, I'm going to go to the foundation and let y'all see what's up at the foundation because they do a lot of shit at the foundation, too. Damn, that sign look nice. Damn, wait a minute. I got water all on my, oh my goodness. Exactly. Yeah, exactly right. You're right, Latang. Let me just, uh, cop a squat right quick. Woo. Mmm, y'all see how that sun hitting that melanin? Don't it look good? Ain't it, ain't it beautiful? God is great. God is so great, man. I'm telling you. Now, let's, let's all focus on this shit right here right quick. Let me tell y'all something. Shit, I don't, can't say none of that over at Rob All Banks. You already know, Proud. I can say it, but they'll probably, you know, fuck my channel up. Take all the little shit that I didn't, that I didn't work for. You know what I mean? You know how you know how the motherfuckers do. 
YT be, man, YT be on some shit. Oh, yeah, I can say that over here because, see, this channel right here, it, it, it'll, it'll either, it's going to either get taken off or it ain't going to never make monetization. And I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> because if this is what I need to do to get motherfuckers to understand, you know, every, every other word ain't going to be a cuss word. It's just how, this just what's on my mind right now. But because of what's going on, I'm, 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 I feel some type of way. You feel? I feel some type of way about this shit. And what really angers me, you see that? You got Toyota, Toyota, and Honda. That's all they drive. In a two-bedroom house with three families living in that motherfucker. And I'm surprised they ain't got the trash out here. Because it's good, but but you can see, see how it's overflowed though, right? That little bit of trash can over there. You see that shit? So now she wouldn't take her ass back in the house. But last night she was over there taking pictures. Signora. Traiga la camera. Let's take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Tired of being tired, bro. Tired of being tired. And then sometimes I feel like with all the positivity that people be trying to portray on YouTube, that shit be so fake. Because you can be positive now, don't get me wrong, but all the fucking time, all the fuck, no. No. You're going to have a bad day. And it's okay. Because you're not going to have a good day every fucking day. It's okay to have a bad day. Just be real about that shit. You know? And that's why I, that's why I don't deal with a lot of these channels. I know motherfuckers say, bitches gonna say what they wanna say about Rob All Banks. You feel me? But you can't please every goddamn body. You think I give a fuck what they saying about Rob? <laughs> I and, and and if you listen to this channel, you you definitely know that I give two shits about what they say about Rob. So if but the thing about that is, I can't, I ain't, I can't be on here on this motherfucker uh, keyboard assassinating motherfuckers. I ain't got time for that shit, man. I'm fucking 51 years old. I'm gonna tell you what's on my motherfucking mind, and that's gonna be that. You respect me, I'm gonna respect you. You disrespect me, goddamn. It's only so much I can do on this computer anyway. But I'm gonna let you know it, and then I'm gonna say my piece, and that's gonna be that. The shit is just wild, man. I like this YouTube shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I'm still doing this motherfucking thing. That's why I'm still doing it. Because if I ain't... I mean, shit. Just like I... What did I do? I signed up for this shit in 2009. And I ain't touched this shit until the goddamn pandemic hit. So that lets you know right there. I can really give two shits. For real, for real. Same thing with Facebook. Fuck Facebook too. Because them bitches told me, Facebook actually told me they going to put my post at the bottom. You know why? Because I was talking too black. I was talking too much black shit for Facebook. And them niggas told me, we going to put your post at the bottom. You know what I said? Fuck you, Facebook. I ain't even got the goddamn be on your shit like that for real, for real. I put my music on that motherfucker and that be that. I tell folks, hey, my music on Facebook, if you want to listen to it, if you on Facebook like that, you know what I'm saying, and you want to hear it, you can go to it because the music on there. And I got a little shit posted on there too, but, you know, as far as really getting down on Facebook, no, I don't fuck with it like that because they shadow banning me on that bitch. That's why. They probably going to shadow ban Rob D on this all too, but it's all to the good. That's what I'm working on. Because I got a lot more shit to expose around this hoe. There going to be some mad motherfuckers out here, boy. And all to them people that's in the Congress. Oh, you better get ready. Folks like Katie Britt. You bitches talking out of one, one ear. You talking out of one end. But you eating out the other. You around here talking that shit about these immigrants. But y'all letting these motherfuckers over here in drips and droves and shit. You're giving them all the fucking benefits. 
And somebody explain this shit to me. If, like, now, now let's make this shit right here make sense to me, guys. Somebody. If an immigrant from Cuba come over here and step foot on American soil, they can stay. But you let a nigga come from Haiti on this bitch, you, 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 you got the horses, the whips, and all that shit on them. And that, that shit right there do not fly. I, I ain't appreciate that shit at all. So whoever the fuck the president was, fuck you. You, you, uh-uh. But then, when these goddamn Mexicans that's crossing the border get over here, y'all putting these bitches on buses, sending them hoes to New York. Fuck you want to slay they ass, because that's what you're doing. I've been telling my guy Rodder to get off Facebook, but the message is, is important. So I told him, hell with it. Keep going. Yeah, PMC, man. It's it's, it's crazy because I feel the same way about YouTube, for real. Because I'm like, man, I'm, I'm putting a message out there, or at least I'm trying to put a message out there for people. You know, to at least awaken them, to at least let them say, I heard somebody say that before, even if they don't do the shit. And that's the thing right there. Trying to make motherfuckers listen. Bitches don't want to listen because they want to be stuck on stupid. Now you see this. I didn't just walk around this motherfucker. This is just right here. In this little, this little spot. This ain't, I ain't even walk around the whole goddamn neighborhood. I don't want, I ain't even walk around the whole neighborhood, bro. And showed you some shit just like that. That's where they, they down now. They right here. Oh, they round the corner too. Yeah, they round the corner too. So <laughs> they every fucking well, man. For real. But see, this the thing. And a lot of people not paying this shit no attention. How the fuck you think these motherfuckers getting over here, man? They ain't got no... Some of them do have cars and shit. But I ain't talking about them. Because they legit. Some of them anyway. I'm talking about these motherfuckers that's around here walking that you can look in Walmart and look. Hold on. Probably did. Yeah, you gotta have the case number to get the information. Oh, look at this shit. Then they getting deliveries too. See, this the shit I be talking about. Well, I think I'm a lot of 
Yeah. No, it ain't against the law, but goddamn, four and five times out the week ain't but seven days in the week. Yeah, I, I just, I just seen UPS come through this motherfucker, FedEx, Amazon, now Hertz. Oh, is it? So that, that Amazon again, back to back. Well, it's something. Shit, how, how, you can't get that many packages in one goddamn every damn day now. Come on. Huh? Have you? Probably some more shit. It's the third time I've seen him now. Probably some more shit to add to that. House. And he's coming in the back part of the airport too. Mm, that money right there. Huh? That money right there. What he delivering? I can tell by the pack. You know how you put money in a in a um uh, in an envelope? Ain't no money. <laughs> Was that a conspiracy theory? <laughs> who gonna spend who gonna send money by Amazon? They dumbass. Oh shit. No. They 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 ordering shit piece by piece. Oh, you know them apartments down there? The them uh what them apartments or condos? I think they flooded out too, honey. I seen, I, I seen about four of them, goddamn, <laughs> just out there. You need to go work for ICE. I need to goddamn do something. Uh, ICE need to do their goddamn job is what they need to do. Oh, I already know they back there. No, it's one house. They had four growing up there. Now they got they got roasters, they got everything. For real? Uh they did everything. Oh, proud mix said hello. Oh yeah, it's 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 shit, bro. It ain't never stopped. It's still getting worse. It's getting worse, sir. It ain't getting worse. It's getting worse, sir. Man, these folks been coming over here for years. Well, not not that. These folks been getting them, bringing them over here for years. Well, before then, uh, before I had to pick you, we used to work at this place called First Home Cleaning. And we had somebody in Honduras that worked at the cleaning place. That's what the Hondurans do. Because that's what they is across the street. Yeah, that's what they that's what they is across the street. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. what, be. that's what she be gone. Oh, and the rest yeah, of them. When the government, when the government uh, clapped clap down on him, he got rid of all I had. Huh? That's all it's gonna that's what it's gonna take for their ass was, to do with these motherfuckers. He was, from, he was from South Africa. And he wasn't paying no taxes. The motherfucking government clapped down on that ass. Oh, I can drive he on this line no, too, bro. Ain't no thing. He wasn't no and he wasn't cutting no taxes. Oh, shit. So he was doing all type of bullshit, illegal bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And there was like six, six dormants in there. He had nobody white working for his ass. Uh-huh, because them white folks going to tell on his ass. He said he wasn't white. He said they from him and white from South Africa. Probably was. 
See, white people in South Africa, they don't call themselves white. They say they African. They do not. They the, say they African. The real ones, anyway. The real South Africans that's white, they not white. They South African. And they will let you know that shit, too. But we called the one that, we called the, the dude, the chaplain, he was South African. And somebody called him a white man. That motherfucker like the shit on himself. He got so mad. I'm yeah, like, nah. He ain't no real white dude. Cause he didn't turn, he ain't turn red. You know how these crackers get mad, they turn red. Yep. Now, he, Reagan did turn red. He, he, he ain't turn he red. That My motherfucker was, was just mad. My name was Sicily. His name was Ray. Yeah, And we used to go this 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 nigga was this white mom. We saw the dad's head. We go there to pick up the child. We have a car. He said, he better come out. No, we're not. We're not going down the phone. We're not picking up their car. Who said that? That we said he dropped him. It was one of us mad for one of them. It seemed like he knew it was time for us to come in and clean it out. He was like, he was Well, your boy Richard Simmons got counsel. Richard Simmons. No, nah, they said they, some shit, I don't know what the hell they talking about, man. Some old crazy shit. Oprah did all that shit for Weight Watchers. They had them folks using Weight Watchers and she wasn't even using it. No! Get out of here. You mean to tell me Oprah was lying all this time? Yeah, she was using that, that drug, using the drug. Wow, so she did, man, see what I'm saying? This is the type of shit that I be talking about. Folks be out here listening to these motherfuckers and they lying. Where you find this out at? I'm talking about Oprah. The radio is one. It's all over. All over the news and everything. So Oprah around here lying to folks, talking about something. She using Weight Watchers, but she having whole medical procedures done. Oh, she using a weight loss drug. Mm -hmm. Oprah, you're a liar. See, well, when you... Wow. It's, man. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still tripping about this house, though. But the, I'm still, I still, you know what? I still hadn't looked up this school. I need to find out about these schools. She done went to Atlant Atlant Atlanta Dita or some shit. Tesla Atlanta Dita. I'm what the hell? What kind of school? I ain't never heard of that school. Where is that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause all them schools she just made up. Boy, I ain't never heard of that shit. Nowhere. I'm gonna have to. Cause they paying for the house. So what she did is she she bought a couple of houses and ran them hoes out to them. No, she bought that house for them. Oh, she bought it for. It belongs like like they said. If we go buy Jason a house, it's in our name, but it's Jason's house. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Right. Yeah, it's their house. It's yeah. just in her name. So that means, right, I was just about to say, that means the rest of them illegal as hell. Mm -hmm. Fuck around and 
call ICE and tell them bitches to come over here and get this whole goddamn house. And ain't no telling how many other motherfuckers around here like this too. Cause I'm telling you, them ones that's in them um them condos down there. They brought They brought them hoes here. And gave them cars and trucks and shit. So that they can front for their business. Right, yeah. Nobody got no, ain't nobody got no good cops <laughs> down there in, in that hole. All them, all Shit. Them there, the I just seen the goddamn big ass um, foe runner go up in that hole. And the, and the lady got, and the lady, the lady got out that bitch. Then them niggas got dogs too. So that right there lets me know a lot of shit, man, okay? That let me know a lot of shit. Just from by what I observed. And then I heard somebody down there speaking Spanish loud as hell like they wanted me to hear them. <laughs> yeah, they deep. They in there. Some who? Some sheets. Some sheets. Sheets. Bad, bad. Oh, sheep. Where you at? God damn, how you get... How you seeing all this shit? It's county. I'm right Turn down this big house is. What big house? Sheep and a goose. And where did that you said? Right down the bedroom where you turn off. Man, it's about to be big house that they turn off. You come your way, go to Garden Day. They got some sheep, baby. Now I'm starting to see why these folks be out here robbing their ass. Of course, I already, I already knew that. I already know that. I knew that. I don't see where they go rob them. Because one thing I can't say is how they work for their money. Well, shit. Everybody else work for their money, too. Okay, then. So you going to go rob everybody that work? No, because they got bank accounts. And they got direct deposit. You can't rob a nigga who got direct deposit unless you take him to the bank. But why would you want to rob somebody that worked hard for their money? Oh, man. Okay, man. That's what... <laughs> what the hell you... I mean, that's sensible, of course. Why would you want to rob somebody that worked for their money? But the criminal ain't thinking like that. Criminal don't give a damn what you worked hard for. They just want it because they know you got it. And if they know they can take it, they gonna get it if they really want it. Hell, I didn't say go rob folks that's out here working hard for their damn money. I said that's why they are getting that. Exactly. <clears throat> All good things come to an end. <clears throat> you can't keep doing you can't keep doing that no way. I mean if you doing that type of look, if you're a criminal, you already know what what comes with that shit. You know what comes with that. You ain't just finna go out here and rob every fucking body and think that you finna be scot free. Thinking that there ain't nobody else out there. Got something to make you stop doing that shit. Then you a fool. You, you a fool if you thinking that.
ain't no way. But then it, it's, it's people that do that. But it's other ways. You don't have to be doing that like that. So the man who ain't the man who trying to get a job, they get turned down by all these companies. What is he supposed to do? Just starve to death? What you just said? I said the honest man that's out here trying to get a job that get turned down by all these corporations. What is he supposed to do? Yeah, that sound all good. That shit sound good, but you got to look at the reality of that shit. It happens. Then we get on these jobs, and then we, oh, uh, so, 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 I ain't got enough time, but I'm gonna take off. Fuck this job. I'm gonna quit this job. Cause I don't like that old saucy lip ass manager. Dodge Dodge Dodge. That's us. They just go to work. They don't get no fuck what they like to or not. Well they don't <clears throat> they don't mind working for peanuts. Black people, black people, and I know they quit today. What they ain't gonna do. Well, you know what? I keep I I I refer back to the point that if the ancestors had a god, they just do. True enough, some of them's gonna fuck it up, but at the same time, you got to think about the ones that ain't gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I told Demetrius the other time when I told him to go work this job on the fair. Oh, I'm a child, but they ain't gonna pay me what I'm worth. Cause. <laughs> oh, goddamn children, they ain't gonna pay me well see when you put yourself in that type of position yeah yeah fuck off my phone that bullshit you ain't gonna try to out yell me nigga <laughs> just the same way that you saying that shit the same way somebody else could be feeling the same damn way so i mean hey that's your way there are other ways who's to say that that one way is the right way. Shit, you got ancestors out here. What if they had to given our ancestors their just due? All our ancestors ain't gonna squander that shit because you got a lot of us out here that really will do something with it. That's the point I'm trying to get you to see. Fuck all that other shit working for peanuts. Why the fuck I got to buy some land back that's originally that originally belongs to me in the first fucking place? Why? Why niggas do that? Because they said you got to. Who the fuck says that? This shit right here rightfully belongs to my ancestors. And you bitches know it. But you trying to get the money and you'll work the shit out of me until I die. <laughs> Bruh. Honestly, I don't know who hiring in Alabama. For real, to tell you the truth. Because I see all these motherfucking immigrants with the jobs. Especially on these construction sites. Now, if you go watch my live yesterday. well, And you will see every construction site I went on. Wasn't no black men out there. Wasn't, it wasn't even no white boys out there. Man, but Hispanic folks out there working, man. Because people say, oh, well, they'll do the jobs that the black people won't do. That's bullshit. Niggas will do them jobs, too. It's just that a nigga know they worth. You feel me? And I don't mean to say nigga like that because a nigga could be a white motherfucker. It could be a Hispanic person. A nigga can be anybody. A nigga is an ignorant person for those that don't understand what the nigga what a nigga mean. And to break it down, the etymology of the word, nigga, it didn't have two G's in the shit from the beginning. It's a whole country called nigga. That's how they pronounce the shit. But when the French took it over, 
when the French took it over, they just changed the saying of the name. So then when the white man see the shit, he gonna put the double G in it to degrade a black person and say, oh, you just a nigga. I'm a nigga, he's a nigga, she's a nigga, we some niggas, wouldn't you like to be a nigga too? Huh? <laughs> I'm just saying. I break this shit down to the last compound like a fraction. But people don't want to hear that shit. Because when you get too deep down in the rabbit hole, and the rabbit hole go way, it's way deeper than the shit I'm talking. The rabbit hole so deep, the shit I'm talking is just... It's just floating around in the air. All the shit that's in the rabbit hole, boy, when you go down there and start looking at that shit and seeing some things for real, for real, god damn, I didn't even know this shit existed. Or you'll be thinking like, do I really, am I, am I to believe that this shit is even real? Man, a lot of people don't understand that this world is over, over 2,000 years old. It's over 50,000 years old, man. This motherfucking place been here a long time. And then when I hear people talking like, oh, the year um, 2000 BC is when the world started. No, it didn't. Shut the fuck up. You got people that was, man, ancient peoples have been here, man. All these shits that they wrote down on the scrolls, on these tablets and shit. How they wrote that down? That, man, that right there should let people know that, okay, since they keep writing down the same story, it's got to have some type of truth to it. It's just when the story get changed up, then you know that somebody got down put some salt in the game. <clears throat> I missed them, bro. I missed them. I ain't, I, <clears throat> I miss what you said. Oh, yeah, you said... Yeah, this I was rolling on this once before. I think. I'm not sure. Don't get me the line. Might have been Rob Allbanks. Sometimes I get confused. <laughs> but I know when I go to cursing and spewing every other word, I'm cussing. I'm on Rob D. Unfiltered. Straight the fuck up. Because, see, <clears throat> people tell me, man, you every. Uh, you cuss too much. So, bitch? It's just a word. If I'm cursing you, it's a difference. I can say, I can curse you and don't even have to use an explicative. You feel, you feel me? One of my favorite quotes is to ask them, what did this business look like before you stole it from me? Say that shit, bro. That's the motherfucking truth. These motherfucking devils... Because, you know, I'm tired of calling them crackers and white folks and all because I'm getting tired of using these colors and shit. I can call them niggas, too, because they niggas, too. You feel me? Motherfucking white boy walking around here calling calling folks niggas. Nigga, you just as a nigga as we niggas. Dumb nigga. You, what you is is a dumb nigga. That's what you, you a dumb nigga. That's what I tell these white folks that use that word because they stupid. They don't know no damn better. They think they saying that shit to hurt a motherfucker. Man, it's too, it is 2024, okay? One of you crackers call me a nigga. I'd be, I probably look like, damn, this motherfucker just called me a nigga. <laughs> I couldn't, I can't do nothing but laugh because I have been, I have been trained now to just ignore that word and look at you like, if I'm a regular nigga, that means you a dumb nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You gonna say I'm a he nigga? He, he look at me and say you nigga. I look back and say you a dumb nigga. Cause your whole goddamn bloodline is niggas. You stupid mother. Okay, moving on. Exactly. They still every day and stole every damn thing, man. Everything I'm talking about from from way, way, way from prehistoric times, from ancient times, ancient civilization. And I ain't talking about just biblical times. People got to realize it was times shit was going down before that. Before the Bible. 
They'll tell us it was just dinosaurs here. Wasn't shit going on. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Shit, they done found some shit. Hey, this motherfucker goes back. They have an ice cream bar in Europe called Nogger. <laughs> and it's chocolate too, I bet. Well, see, that's just like the Russians. The Russians be saying that shit because they hadn't been educated on it. But check this out, though. When the skins the skinheads were in Russia now, so you gonna mean to tell me that the skinheads or Russian people didn't know that the word nigga was offensive to black people? Is that what you telling me? Is this what they trying to convince me? You got skinheads over there literally beating up African people. Why? Because they look like this. You see all this, see this melanin? So beautiful. God is great. The skinheads beating people up for this. But then you gonna say, bro said I need, hey, he said he needs some answers. Hold on, let me get my other trusted device and go on that. And, yeah, man. <clears throat> These motherfuckers out here crazy, bro. These folks out here, they really, they got fucking screws. They screws is fucking crazy. They loose. But then you got a nigga talking about Rob like, uh, boy, people be on here trying to assassinate my character for real. Because he want to say Rob, go... Some motherfucker, some nigga said Rob controversial. Hey man, fuck you, man. I'm just telling the truth. Ain't shit controversial about it. You believe what you believe, and I believe what I believe. So when you come to find out that what you believe is some bullshit, and what I was trying to tell you was the real, not trying to say that what I'm saying is the whole truth, but I'm telling you truths. You feel me? I'm not trying to lie to you. If I'm bringing you some information, you best believe I done researched that shit, did the homework on it, and actually went through the trails. As y'all can see, my routine as we just walked around this motherfucker a minute ago. And I showed you. We got a fucking, they finna build a, um, the, the Mexican grocery store right there. Wow, we got high-ass Marinos. It's way down the street. I can't walk to that motherfucker like I just walked to this. You got Piggly Wiggly. It's down the street. All that old raunchy-ass meat. I can't. I can walk to these motherfuckers, but I can't walk to them like I just walked to this shit. Hold on, bro. I'm finna get it. Swoop, swoop live. I see you, swoop. Okay. We all fucking Germany, Switzerland border. These niggas think they slick. Niggas think they fucking slick, bro. We're not standing for this shit. What the fuck is going on, y'all? Damn. They are dead. What? Uh oh. I think I hung tongue you up. Well, Germany racist in a motherfucking way. Germany racist as hell, bro. Look. The Nazis stole the fucking swastika, bro. Oh, yeah, the hate is very real, bro. The hate is too real. It's too real. And people don't, underst people don't be understanding why I go as hard as I do. Because I know the hate real. I didn't experience the shit. And then when people go to talking sideways shit out the side of their neck, spewing out shit that they have no idea or know nothing about, I ain't going to lie, that shit get my goat, but hey. I just have to sit back and relax and be like, man, these motherfuckers don't know shit for real, for real. Because I can I can guarantee you, if half these motherfuckers was sitting out here with me right now, I promise you, I'd probably be in jail because I'd probably be in a slap about it. I ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But then them a lot of people, they'll probably just turn around and whoop my ass because I can't slap every damn body. You know, damn. But I put that chop on there, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. But I'm just saying, though, man. I don't condone no violence, for real, for real. 
I want everybody to be peaceful with, with each other. But the powers that be, they don't allow that shit, man. I be trying to talk to my neighbors and shit, my Honduran neighbors and shit. I be trying to talk to them, be trying to break the language barrier and shit. But then in some of the shit that they do, it just, just, it don't make sense, man, for you to be in a fucking neighborhood and do these type of things. It's, it's like with your trash and shit, with your, with, with your children out there kicking bottles in the street and shit. You, did you see that bottle that I put back over, that I knocked out the street? Yeah. The little baby girl out there kicking the shit in the middle of the fucking street. I know her mammy hear that shit. She be yelling about every goddamn thing else. Go out there and tell your daughter stop kicking this goddamn bottle in the middle of the street. Somebody run over and fuck they tired. Nine times out of ten, it might be one of y'all stupid motherfuckers. You can't help people like that. You can't teach the truth that is never meant to be told by systemic standards. Exactly. That's why it costs great speakers <laughs> and activists not blind to the nonsense, their lives, if they didn't pass naturally. Of course. Of course. They don't want the truth out there. And I'm looking at it like this, bro. The, the deeper I get into this shit is the longer I keep on discovering more truth. And I keep putting this shit together. And I keep researching this shit. And I eventually find out some some... Some shit, some shit, some shit, shit, shit. And I feel like I'm getting close, close, close. Because I'm doing some shit that, you know, motherfuckers wouldn't think that you would do. Am I telling? No, not right now. You're going to see the work when it's done. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah. And even if I pass away, it's still, you know what I'm saying? It's still going to live on. The thing, and that's the killing part. They don't want the truth out there, but it's out there. They just don't want us to discover it. They don't want everybody to discover it. Because once we as a people discover the whole truth, the real truth, man, they think they think them folks in Haiti going crazy. People out, it's too many folks over here with guns already, dog. It's too many folks over here with guns already. The real war gonna pop off, like I was saying down there. The real war. Right now, we at war already. We had a spiritual war. We had a chemical war. We had a war that we can't even fucking see. We, we battling all kind of ways, man. We had propaganda war because every time you turn on the motherfucking TV, somebody hitting you in the head with some go vote for this, go vote for them. Man, get the fuck on. This nigga, this white motherfucker talking about Black Lives Matter books. Dr. Allen motherfucking Todd. Yeah, you. You, sir. Dr. Allen Todd. Yeah, your motherfucking ass. Please, somebody tell me, what the fuck is a Black Lives Matter book? Have you ever seen a Black Lives Matter book? Anybody? Jim Crow Joe got some Air Bidens out. I saw them ugly motherfuckers too, man. I saw them hoes. I was like, oh my God. No, he didn't. This how they playing with us. This is how they playing with us. Oh, we know these niggas like shoes. Let me make some shoes. Trump came out with some gold motherfucking shoes. Yeah, you ain't lying. Them hoes, they are absolutely no balance because his ass is about to fall the fuck over when I saw him walking in them hoes. I'm like, is this nigga walking for real? It looked like he was a clone or some shit, like a robot. America in trouble, man. I'm telling you. These are the type of motherfuckers we got to vote for to run the country. You got a motherfucker that done stole the secrets. Now, nah. I'm going to say this about Trump ass. He, putting, he be putting shit out there for us to see that these people fucked up. Yeah. He put it out there to see, but at the same time, he just as fucked up. He is just as fucked up. So it's like, who the fuck do you listen to? You got a man out here who, who saying, who telling us some shit about the government. And then when we see the shit, we like, damn, he ain't lying. But then at the same time, he doing some, he doing his little slick shit too. Yeah. He playing both sides. 
That's what that's what I that's what I say he doing. He playing both sides. He trying to use his power. The people are man, yeah. That and that's the fucked up part about it. The people always lose. The people can't never win. So when the people gonna goddamn stick together and, and say, man, we tired of losing, man. For real. It's up to us. We are the people. Cause then they say that shit in that crazy ass look. We the people in order to perform or whatever that shit said, the preamble, we the people in order to perform a more perfect union or some shit like that. You feel me? I don't know all that shit because the shit ain't shit no way. <laughs> it's a bunch of shit. All men are create, created. All men are created equal now. That may be true. But, because the divine creator cre created us all. We all equal. But when you get out here in society and into the world, the devil's fuck that shit's up. Yeah, he just fucked that up. Big time. And it's a shame, man. It really is. It really is. It's a shame. See, I ain't worried about... See, all them folks that's on Rob Allbank's channel, they not gonna come over here, man. Because they don't want to hear this shit. I'm telling you. I, man, I don't, some fad came up in this motherfucker talking about some ULB, elemental PQ. Man, get the fuck off my, get the fuck off my live with that whole ass shit, okay? I done told you, I don't fuck around with the elemental PQ people. You keep that shit at your house, don't bring that shit here. Because I'm going to let your ass have it. I ain't, I ain't fuck that, man. I'm going to let your ass have it. I ain't, trying to, I ain't trying to sound like no bully, but that's just the motherfucking real of the situation, man. And I'm going to laugh that shit off, too. I'm going to laugh that shit off so bad after I cuss their ass out. <laughs> like I'm laughing at this silly motherfucker now, for real. I'm like, really, dude? And that's just not to say, hey, I don't get down with that shit, man. And people be saying, oh, I don't get down with that shit, Rob. Well, you know, okay, I'm going to respect that. And I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. So, because that right there, that just lets me know that you on some stuck on stupid shit that I don't want to be a part of. You feel me? Because I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time for that shit. I'm going to live my life. Make sure my family's straight. And but it seems like at the same time, I'm fighting the powers that be so that I can get what I need so that my family will be straight. And that that fight right there is not even as bad as the fight that I have against shit like why you <sighs> like why all these motherfucking Africans over here owning the gas stations? Why can't we own our own goddamn gas stations? How we let motherfuckers come over here to a country that they know nothing about because we give them that power. That's right. We gave them that power. We did that. So we can't really get mad at that shit because you could have either said, well, fuck this, man. I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know that these folks come over here, they get these they get these numbers. You feel me? They get these EIN numbers. They get all this credit. They get the fucking benefits that our ancestors was fighting for, died for. When you got something really good, you don't have to force it on people. They'll steal it. <laughs> bro. Ooh, bro. Hey. You ain't lying. D. Gregory, he ain't lying. Because I, man, look. The same motherfucker that was talking about me. I fucked around. And they live came up. And I was like, mm, I was, you know, me being the person I am, I was like, okay, dude, you can't, you can't keep on being angry at this stupid motherfucker because of some shit that he said. Okay, you got to be the bigger man. I was the bigger man, so I went on and I listened to his shit. I'll be goddamn if this motherfucker wasn't starting to talk about the same shit I'm talking about. He, he sounded like me. And I was like, 
Look at this motherfucker here. This same bitch talking shit about me, trying to call me out my name. He up here saying the same exact shit that I just said. I was like, look at this shit. And then when you said that, when you got something good, you ain't got to force it on people, and you don't. You ain't, man, look. This I used to tell these girls this shit. Ooh, ever since I just, you know, started wanting to get some pussy. Look, I don't have to make you do anything you don't want to do. If you don't want to be with me, I'm not finna goddamn say, hey, I'm finna take that pussy. No, bitch. Go on about your business. Go on about your business. Because there's too many other motherfucking fish out here in the sea. Now that song I listen to for sure, for sure. Because there's way more fish out here in the sea. But that was when I was young and dumb and full of calm. You know, and, and was trying to fuck every damn thing. That shit take a toll on you. But, man. Rest in peace, Dick Gregory, for real, man. Golly. And they have, like the swastika, like I was saying, the swastika, bro. The swastika is ancient. That shit's so ancient, bro. The swastika meant peace. It originally meant peace. And I read this shit. <laughs> I, I'm looking at this shit with my own four eyes. Because here go my, uh-oh. Here go my other two right here. So with my own four eyes, I'm reading this shit. Like, are you for real? The swastika was a symbol of peace in the beginning before um, Hitler and the, the Nazi Jews or the Nazi Germans, whoever the fuck they was, the Nazis perverted this shit and turned it into a symbol of hate. That's why I said Dick Gregory ain't lying. He ain't lying, man. I've seen this shit. I've seen it. Like I say, when I talk shit, I speak strictly off experience experience i don't fabricate shit like i keep telling them dumb asses i ain't got a lot to kick it i don't because that shit don't benefit me none and the damn show ain't benefiting you it just make me a liar and then when then when a the motherfucker find out oh this nigga lying his ass off man nobody want to hear that shit you talking hey then you just have to accept that shit because you lying to people. When you go to lying to people, you have to keep telling these lies. That shit don't add up. Lie on top of lies ain't good for you. So just go and be honest from the get-go. Now, I understand something that you may not want a person to know that you have to lie about, but just lying just to be lying? Come on, man. You even lied about the lies that you lied about. You even lied to your aunt when you went down south. A bodybuilder. <laughs> you lied and a bodybuilder beat you up. If you was in Egypt, you lied a king tut. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. See, I... He lying about the lies that they lied about. They leaving, ah, man. That right there is crazy. And I'll be like, wow, really? People just be lying just to hear themselves? I'm, I don't get that, though. I don't like when people lie to me, man, because I, I hold you in a, a certain, what's the words I'm looking for? Well, I hold everybody in a certain position until they go to lying to me. Then when I find out you're lying to me, I'm like, God damn. That's fucked up. Then I start to ease my distance away from you. And then eventually I don't fuck with you no more because I know you're lying. And I ain't trying to have that part of my repertoire. The truth, I love the truth. Yeah. They say the truth hurt. I mean, it does. Shit. That hard truth, I'm telling you, that shit hit. That shit hit hard. It's up to the individual to shake that shit off. But shit, some truths is like, God dang. It's, ooh, yeah, that shit had you thinking for a couple of days around this motherfucker, man. 
A liar lies, lie where they lie, just like a joker's the joke of the joke he's telling. Mm -mm, a liar and a joker. They kind of similar, ain't they? Pretty much. He well, Yeah. They have some similarities. I tell the joker, he even lied about the lies that he lied about. That's, that's some hella lies, though. You lied about the lies that you lied about. That's a hell of a liar. That's a hell of a liar. Man. And then when I speak of lies like that, I, I go all the way up to the to the big leagues with the lies and shit. The maximum loves liars and the minimum loves honesty. Yeah. It's sad, man. It's like the world is backwards. It's like we live in bizarro world, for real. <laughs> we live in bizarro world and don't even know it. God dang on bizarro. Oh, man. You see how I'm looking Judge Judy in the background. I don't want to hear on this shit. That's why I said, man, TV just be on in this house. I watch a good movie. Matter of fact, let me see what I was watching in here. Like, I was trying to watch that movie Buddha was talking about. Uh, what was that shit? Cream or some shit? Uh -uh, I couldn't watch that shit. That shit, when that shit started to talk about that, mm -mm, I had to turn it. Turn like that shit, man. Then when my wife been here watching that shit, love and hip hop, that shit, they had a motherfucking homos. Yeah, them homosexuals come. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to see that shit, man. What I want to see two men kissing each other. What the fuck? I want to see that nasty shit for, man. Where that Bible verse at? Say that shit is an abomination. Motherfuckers need to read that shit and understand it. I don't understand how you gonna be a Christian but you gay. No, I ain't even gonna say that. I'm gonna say, how can you be a Christian? And you a homosexual. Can somebody make that shit make sense to me? I'm I'm lost on that one. I watched Pruitt I go last night. Word, bro. I still, bro. Matter of fact. Hold on. I was just thinking about Pruitt I go. Every time, look, every time I drive by the projects, bro, Pruitt I go just go to my fucking mind, bro. Exactly. If it ain't educating me, I ain't watching it, bro. I feel that shit. Bro, that's why I don't, I don't, you know, some of the shit that they watch on this fucking TV, man, I have to leave the room, bro, because I don't be wanting to see that shit. And then if I go to say something, that's, going, that's a whole argument right there. That's a whole argument. I ain't got time for that shit, man. So it sometimes it just make me wonder, because like my little therapist said, with this newfound discovery of you awakening, are you going to awaken and realize that, hey, maybe the motherfucker that you with ain't the one who you supposed to really be with? Yeah, that's some truth right there that'll hit your ass, too. Yeah, that's some truth that'll hit your ass, too, for real. And it seems like the more and more you try to make the shit work, the shit just ain't working, man. It just don't seem like it ain't fucking working. Because they got their mind, you got yours. And can't nobody meet in the middle. But then when you try to compromise, it seems like you compromising your your um you compromising your belief of the truth. Because you know that shit ain't true. So what the fuck I gotta compromise about some lies for? I'm just saying. Somebody help that can somebody make that shit make sense to me? That shit don't make sense to me at all. Why the fuck would I have to compromise to your lies? And we and I'm trying to display the truth to you. You even see the fucking truth. And you, damn. I'm listening because I hear the helicopter, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go out here and see because, you know, these helicopters be around this motherfucker flying. Let me see what's going on. They had that big ass helicopter flying around. Uh oh, that look like the ghetto bird right there, y'all. What 
the fuck that is? Then that shit flying too low. That shit flying too low for me. And see, look, proud, look. Let me zoom in, zoom in on something. I know that's being petty. You know how long that shit been sitting there? For two weeks. That shit been sitting there like that for two fucking weeks. They so goddamn nasty, they ain't even come pick that shit up. But you got the baby girl out here kicking fucking, kicking fucking um, glass in the goddamn street. The fuck on out of here, man. When they be having them neighborhood watch, them neighborhood watch signs posted, a nigga like me take that shit serious, cause I like to watch what's, I like to see what the fuck going on around me. You feel me? I like to see what's going on around me. Some people call it nosy. I don't give a damn. That's called me being aware of my surroundings. So what I'm gonna kindly go out here and do is go get the can because the can is worth some money. But you know, I'm thinking like I shouldn't even fuck with the can for real. I just let that shit sit there. But you know, I I, I like to collect cans. Well, not collect them, but I get them hoes and sell them. Shit, once I get enough of them, I take them to the yard. That's money, man. So much money just laying out here in the street. Money laying in the street. That's another thing. Sometimes we don't even keep our own community clean. And this the type of shit that I'm saying right here. It ain't just them. There's some niggas around here too. That this shit nasty as fuck. That's probably nastier. It's just that when I go talk to them and try to explain to them about this goddamn trash, that shit will work for baby couple of days then little me go with his goddamn ignorant ass he'll come put the shit out there four days before the goddamn trash running and then that shit'll be overflowing and the goddamn cats and the fucking dogs be all in the shit they tearing it up trash be all over the fucking place and then that shit be all in my yard what the fuck man come on keep your shit clean man limpiado God damn, that shit ain't, it's not difficile. No, it's difficile. It's muy facile. Shit, keep your shit clean, my nigga. It ain't hard, amigo. Shit, you got a whole goddamn house. You doing way better than some of your folks is. You can always go back to where you came from, guy. And this shit be just as fucked up as it was. See, when they come over here thinking about the American dream and shit, I don't think nobody filled them in on the dream. It's just a damn dream, bro. <laughs> you chasing some shit that ain't for real. The system is a slab. Corruption is a swinger. Life is a boxing ring and a graveyard. It's just a friendly game of baseball. I never understood throw trash on the ground blatantly and you have a bin right there literally. Bro, did you see my short? You ain't see my short, did you? You ain't see my short. The dude who be sitting on the corner. Matter of fact, I ought to just go drive over there and see if his ass sitting out there on the corner now. See what I'm saying? Just, just I should just go drive and see what the fuck. But then Tanya D said, you gonna run all the gas out on your excursions trying to do a live. It ain't about me doing a live. It's about me showing the motherfucking people what the fuck going on where I live. Fuck this live shit. I need people to see what the fuck going on in this goddamn city of Birmingham, Alabama, motherfucking backwards. I need y'all to see. And then all these, man, that's why I be, hey, that's why I'm, I'm gonna call out all these motherfuckers that say they doing shit. They probably saying the same thing about me. He said he doing shit, but we don't see him doing that. He always on that goddamn internet. And, you know, they right. Put this goddamn internet down. Go on out there. Get in the streets. See what you can do. That, hey, I've done that too. I done, I done marched around my whole fucking community 
with the signs, chanting, and all that shit. And I'll be damned, two days later, a motherfucker got shot in front of the store. Come on, man. Did that make me want to give up? At first, I was like, God damn. Y'all ain't going to listen. But then it made me give up. Because I still go back to the hood and talk to the people that will listen. You got to talk to the people that will listen to you. The folks that ain't listening to you, fuck them. They ain't going to do nothing but twist and turn what you say to some fucked up shit anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Every time I go by and see that motherfucker and there's some shit out there. Did you see the tent? Did you see where his tent was? It was his tent was across the street. Now, if that ain't the setup, if that ain't the whole setup, nigga, I your tent across the street over there, like slyway hidden, but your ass over here. A minute ago, you had the tents right up there. But they made you move them shits. The city came by and cleaned that area up and they made him move. Now he done put the shit over there on the other side of the gate. How he get over there? Hey, don't ask me. I hadn't done that I hadn't done that part of the research yet. But I see it's behind a fence. And I'm like, but damn. The tent behind the fence, he over here across the street on the side of the highway with the little funky ass sign. The hustle is a variety of visuals. Yeah, they got some, bro. They really do. That's why I'm trying to charge my phone because I'm about to go out here and, and I'm about to pull up on his ass and see if he's sitting down out here and do a on-the-spot quick interview like that and ask his ass, do you really need some help, sir? And if so, why don't you go get it? And another thing, why do you leave the trash out here like that? It's a garbage can right the fuck here. And see, you probably can't talk to him because he probably high as fuck now. If he's sitting out there in his hot ass sun with a with a skull cap on his head and a coat on, down there drawing these, drawing these. Man, the shit is ridiculous, man. It, it's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. And if you see my video yesterday, I even drove, I drove by the brand new firehouse. That shit brand new, big as hell. Ain't no reason he should be sitting on that corner talking about you homeless and hungry. And then when the black man be sitting out there, that shit really irks my nerves. Because his sign said he got two kids and a wife. Well, sir, sitting the fuck out here on this corner ain't going to get shit for him. You need to take your ass to work, man. I'm talking about for real. This hustle right here ain't for you. You got two kids and a wife, bro. You need to find you a different type of hustle. I mean, I don't want to encourage it, but shit, you might need to start slinging the pack if you ain't going to smoke the motherfucker up. I mean, shit. And then these people, man, and that right there, it takes me back to these new, to the new slaves. The new slaves. That's what they are, the new slaves. That's what I'm calling them, the new slaves. Because, like I said, one of them called me a mayate the other day, and I was like, Bro, you are the Nueva Mayate. So, that shit you talking about, I'm not talking about Mayate. That don't mean shit to me, bro. You Nueva. Nueva Mayate. Bendejo, so eat that shit up. Not only is that not going to get anything for them, but if he's on the street, you wonder where's the wife and children? The streets are no place to be if you truly don't have to be in them. Man, proud mix, bruh. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me. You heard it in my song. One of these days, I'm going to have to interview myself and explain what my songs mean so that people can understand what I be talking about. Because look, a bitch... Look, I was in a bitch live... And that motherfucker told me they ain't understand what the hell I was saying. I'm like, bitch, is you listening? If I can hear what the words, if I can hear the, well, that's because I know the words coming out of my mouth. And then, you know, all I had to do is just say, what does this mean? What does this song mean? Instead of just saying, 
What the fuck is you, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is you saying? Bitch, you hear what I'm saying? Add two and two together, motherfucker. You either gonna get four or five, whichever one you believe is the correct answer. That's on you. Re-educate to educate, man. I still listen. That shit. That's and when Nong may be coming on there, even if Nong may be lying, talking about she liked that song. Even if she lying, I don't give a fuck. Is she if she listening to somebody had to be listening to that shit. Cause she was goddamn. I mean, I know proud you be putting your people on. I appreciate that shit. 100. All day. Cause it's fucked up. I be trying to go around, you know, when I first did the shit. Motherfucker like, man, they called me by my government name. They said, man, you ain't finna do, man, you ain't finna rap. Why the fuck not? Why not, nigga? Why can't I rap? Everybody else out here talking this bullshit, stupid shit. They ain't talking about nothing. So let me talk about something. Let me talk about some shit that's actually going down. Some shit that actually happened. Some shit that I done been through in my life. Woo, excuse that. I hope y'all didn't hear that. Oopsies. The off code ad lib at the end is my favorite because, man, it is sad when people just don't give a damn. It is, bro. It's sad, and that shit be hurting me. That's what hurt me the most is when people don't be giving a fuck and they just be letting the shit continuously go on until then when you want to do something about it, you can't because the shit too deep. It's too deep. Because there's some brothers around here now that I've been trying to link up with to get some shit done. You know, we talk about, you talking about what you're doing for the community. Nigga, last time I drove by your shit, I ain't even see you out there. And then I talked to your wife. She was putting me on, on the game. And she was just like, well, whatever we doing, just go to Facebook and you'll know. I'm like, what, the, what kind of, what the fuck? You out here claiming you doing all this shit? No, I didn't seen you do some shit before. Not saying you ain't doing nothing. That's cool. But then don't don't go and say that other motherfuckers ain't doing shit that you ain't seen. Just because you ain't seen them do shit. That don't mean they ain't doing shit. Favorite quote from that song. And don't be surprised if it's your own because you thought the three K's were gone. And our own will put us down before the actual opposition. That's a sh Bro, that shit right there touched my heart. For real. When I, the first line of that song, every time I think about that shit, why is it that when black folks want to do something, niggas got questions. But when white folks do it, you want to join them? You want to co-sign every fucking thing they saying? What kind what, what the? Bro, I, didn't, I live that shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I was in, <laughs> it's like, I will never forget this shit, man. I will never forget this shit. A motherfucker, I was trying to tell these, and we all had the same idea. Everybody had it. Me had it. I had the idea, the white boy, me and, because me and the white boy were talking about shit. We had an idea. So I came to the shit first because he was like, man, you know, the black guys ain't going to really listen to me. So he was like, you know, you gonna tell him. I told him, me and son, we got this idea, man. Let's do it like this. But these niggas was looking at me like, man, you tripping, man. That shit ain't gonna work. Then the white boy came in and he said this little, he said what he said, said the same shit I said. Then, and then the niggas was like, for real, dog? So how you, and I'm like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? And not only just that experience, I have seen other shit on, on, on my job, bro. Well, a nigga come with an idea, be like, man, you know, if you put the box up there, you might want to put it down there first. And then a nigga will be like, man, fuck that crazy shit you talking about, dog. I'm going to put that shit up there. And, and then here come the white man. Here come the supervisor. He'll cuss your ass out. Why the hell you putting the box up top? You should put the shit at the bottom. Then he calling you a dumbass. But see, all I said was, it might help if you get the one from the bottom first. I came at you correct, like a fucking gentleman. You threw, you just threw my shit, what I said, out the window. But then here come the goddamn gray boy, said the exact same thing I said. Now you all on his nuts. That right there. 
That was the first line of my song right there. Your bro or sis will do what you expect your enemy to do. And this is a cold ass reality every day. Yeah, bro. <laughs> real talk. For real. That shit right there, it, it I don't know, bro. I guess I'm di I guess I'm just different. I mean, I, if we won't work together, we can't survive the weather. Simple as that. Bro, simple as I mean, golly. And then I be trying to make my shit so simple. You feel me? I don't be trying to come at niggas with these big ass words or these metaphors. You know what I'm saying? I try to throw a metaphor in there, but you really have to catch, you have to see the metaphor and catch it to understand it. But then I know everybody don't understand Rob. You know what I'm saying? Because people different. People go through different things. I'm just putting my reality into the situation and hope that somebody will relate to it and be like, damn, this nigga right here got some. You feel me? And I know it's some people out there. So I ain't really, I'm not, I'm not tripping at all. I'm, I'm, look, when I go look at my shit and I see that somebody has been listening to it, other than me, hey, cause I like that shit too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of the shit I don't listen to, cause I'm like, damn, I think, what could I have done to make that song a little better? Was, is it the beat? Is it the lyrics? You know, I mean, I'd be doing that. It's time for me to get back into the studio because I got a goddamn song in there now, boy. Actually, I got about four songs that I can put. Well, that, not that I can, but I need, I got four songs right now that I need to goddamn go to the studio and, and get them done. I wish I had that kind of capabilities here, but I can't get the sound because I don't have the right kind of, I don't have the studio. I don't have the studio effect. And then the sound too open. You get all that shit in the background. Yeah. As the world turns, every day we losing yesterday's home. You, look, hold up, hold up. As the world turns, every day we losing yesterday's home runs. Ain't gonna win tomorrow's games. <laughs> they damn sure ain't. So we gotta come up with a new strategy to knock this motherfucker out the park. But I said, I say this, that everything that we doing is, has been done already. It really ain't shit new up under the sun that hadn't been done at least once already, once or twice. Cause we got to remember the world is old, man. And just cause we thought of it, that don't mean that we the first ones to ever think of it. You got the, it's been millions and billions of motherfuckers that done had thoughts before we before we was even seeds of seeds. I don't know if that made sense, but before we was even nut sacks and our dad is nut sacks. Before our fathers was nut sacks and they fathers nut sacks. People had ideas. Everybody always everybody you can't never leave nothing under the table. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? You might not want to listen to that motherfucker, but just hear him out. For real, because I can guarantee you that they might say something that you'd be like, damn, he ain't lying. And that's why I be talk I be tripping because I be listening to OG talk. And people think OG crazy. But OG be speaking some righteous shit. And his heart is in the right place. It's just these hey motherfuckers, they always got to find something to say negative about somebody. If they don't like you, they're gonna find something to say about you. I've been I've been faced that fact a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Man, I know people. Like, look, when I was in the elementary school, right? I had a white person that I thought was my friend. I I thought they were my friend. Yeah, OG in tune. Yeah, OG in tune. He know what happened. Only th only the only bad thing about the good within some of the old days is that it's gone. <laughs> you ain't lying, bro. If we could just get them 
Well, you know, we ain't even got to wish for them days back. We can just make better ones. And it seemed like, I don't know if, I don't know. People just don't want to do it or don't want to, I don't know, man. It seemed, I mean, like, damn. People out here really, people about, man, people out here are petty. Petty as D fuck. And sometimes I get in my petty zone, but I be trying to be petty about the right thing. What happened in the elementary school? I'm glad you asked me that because I was finna go down a whole nother road. I had this white person that I thought was my friend, right? Because as I was being taught in my younger age, because I used to go to Bible study, Sunday school, and all that good shit, my, my, my mama was trying to be something that she wasn't. So I'm like, okay. Me and the white, me and the white person, we chilling, we talk everything, lovely. And they had left me to, to go hang out with some of their other white friends. Now, those white friends that she was going to hang out with, I knew a couple of them and they were racist. That's why I didn't go over there with her. That's why I was like, you go and go ahead and chill with your people. You feel me? Go on over there and chill with your people. So, I go away for not even a hot five minutes. They go to talking. And I was finna come back around the corner. And as soon as I took that step, bro, you know how when you take that step, you hear somebody say something, you be like, what the fuck? The same person I was talking to that I thought was cool said, I just wish them niggas would go back where they came from. I was like, oh, man. I was like, oh, man, can you imagine the, the, the type of shit when a child hears that shit, when you hear that shit as a child, and you, you thinking, you know, we kids. We ain't on that type of shit. We ain't on no racist shit. We know that it's people out there that don't like us, but we ain't expecting it to be our peers at a young age. So that, that, I was like, wow. This shit fucked me up, because I'm like, damn, I can't even, I, I can't even look at you to, like I used to look at you. Because now, since I heard you say that, I know how you truly feel about us. I know how you truly feel. When you get with your home, when you get with your friends, when you get with them, you keep in and niggering it up. Notice I said nigger, because that's what they do. Nigger, nigger, nigger. But then when you come around the black people, it's, oh, what's up, what's up? Man, get your fake ass on before I hit you in your throat. <laughs> that shit right there hurt, bro. So, I mean, you know, as a jit, my eyes been open. As a jit, my eyes been open. And my downfall that I know, that I knew what was my downfall is that I was too optimistic about shit. I was taught, you feel me? I was taught to give motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt too much. See what I'm saying? That's how we get thrown behind too. If a motherfucker tell you who they is, you best believe it. If they show you who they are, you, 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 you might want to take heed to that shit. Yeah, like I'm showing them, I'm showing all these folks now, hey, this this Rob right here, take heed to that shit. Because somebody, they're going to try to piss Rob all banks off just to see will Rob D come out. You feel me? I already know. Because the people that's in the background that ain't saying shit, they're just gathering up information. That's all. Which is cool. I hope they, I hope they get them some to, to really goddamn use. Go on out there and take it to your senators. Take it to your places. Shit. Get something started. Get something cracking. Form a coalition or something. God damn. It's like, and that's why I went in on all these black groups. Got motherfucking, you got ADOS, FBA, FBLA, NAACP, SCLC. You got all these black ass groups. 
That's a whole goddamn five fingers of death. All them groups I just named. How come we just can't do this right here? That's what the fist is supposed to be about in the first place. Am I right or wrong? I think that's what the fist is supposed to be about, everybody. Black power. Can't get no black power when you got these motherfuckers right here going against these motherfuckers. Then you got these motherfuckers going against these motherfuckers. Then these motherfuckers trying to get all these motherfuckers to come together, but it ain't going to come together. And that's why we still got shit the way it is. I need to send you this article I sent Rada of the rapper school. Yes. What happened to schoolboy Q? I ain't heard shit about him in a while. He recently said he wants his Caucasian fans in his audience, along with the other diversities, to say the N word when he performs. Oh, Lord. Well, you know what, Proud? You know what? When people say that N word, it's the way you say that shit, man. It's the way you say it. Because when we say niggas, did that sound offensive when I just said that? It's like, you my nigga, my nigga. But then, when somebody else saying it, the way they say it and drag that shit out, like, my nigga, you trying to be funny. I wish everybody could get along, but it don't work that way. No, it don't. It don't. And see, we ain't even got to get along. If we can at least just work together for a common cause, damn, for one common cause, I'll just do so that we can truly become right in this fucking land. We can't even do that. Because we too, we too busy worried about if John gonna have more acres than we got. You feel me? We too worried about is 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 John got the number threes. I got the number twos. My shit older than his. Shit like that. Stupid shit. Stupid shit. And I hate to say that shit because sometimes you have to put your you have to put your mind and think like some of these stupid motherfuckers. And that be some petty shit, man. Some of the shit I be saying, I can't even believe I be saying it sometimes. But it's what the fuck I've seen. It's, I've been talking to motherfuckers like this. Jesus, you think I'm going to put this shit out? Man, I'm not finna put all them ignorant motherfuckers on my shit like that. Just to show how stupid that... No, nah, bro, I ain't trying to... I'm not trying to down the people like that. I, that's the shit the news do. They go find the, the dumbest motherfucker to talk to and put their ass on national TV. They looking like they throwed the fuck away. They can't even make a complete sentence. The best way for me to go back to Chris was gonna be down. Um Go back down Tyler Pooch and get on Swinney that way. That's the fastest way, I think. Say that again, huh? If you do what? I'm coming out of Winewood. Okay. And I'm going to over there by Walmart to that dialysis over there. Tomorrow in Center Point? Uh uh, in Crestwood. And you coming out of Winewood? You might well go. You might well go down the parkway. You might well go down the parkway. Oh, I can go down and go, go down Tallapoosa and you, get on right there. You must be on the back. And get on, on, get on 20. You on, you on, you on 79 or 78? I'm close to 79. I'm close to 79 than I am the parkway. Oh, okay. So go on, go 79 then and you just have to go that way. You can get on, let me see. No, you don't have to get. No, you can just keep straight all the way through. Go up under the freeway, go back that back way, go through Avondale, and and. I ain't, I ain't got time for all that now. I can just get up if I get down that far by the freeway, I get up. It's right there on twenty. Right there on twenty. Where you going? Tell me all the way through Avondale and shit. 
You said you're going to Crestwood. No, I'm going to the, the dialysis center behind there by where the Jack and, and the seafood place be. Right there where the old Turkey City is. Off the Porto. By Central Plaza. Yeah, but down little... You know what? Where well, we used to go to the shrimp basket at right there. And look, Jet Pep, right across from the damn VA. I thought you'd been going by Tom Lokeway. No, not to go that. I go that way to go pick him up from the nursing home. I'm going to pick him up now from the from the uh, place. I think I had to go from my nursing Yeah, because you, 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 you confusing me. You, I'm going to pick this man up from that house. I go to Tom Wake Low, Tom Wake, Tom Low Way when I'm going to pick him up from the nursing home. But I went go to Tom Low Way coming out of Center Point. Then you just say you was on 79? Yes, I'm on 79 now. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, well, you can just get on the freeway and get off I on the. When I drop him off, he stayed in Wayne. Yeah. All right, dear sir. All right. I don't roll it up and take the gas to go. All right, you guys. That's enough of that shit. You call me, you want the direction, but then you say you're going to follow your first fucking man. Well, what the fuck you calling me for then? Damn. And then when I'm trying to give you the directions, I'm taking you all the way out the way. Well, where the fuck are you? I'm trying to help you get the way you need to go. Oh, have mercy. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I saw, I saw the email you sent it, bro. I got the email. I'm going to check it out. I've been sitting here for a long ass time, man. Really, I'm still trying to get my phone charged because I said I was going to go out there and see if old buddy on the... Uh, on the corner. But I'm trying to see what else can I do though. I, you know, what else can I do for some enlightenment? I could go to, uh, I could go to, uh, the center. Could go to the center. But then, you know, I don't know how they feel about being on camera and shit and all that stuff. They, you know, I ain't. See that? I don't know. Got time for that. I just make myself, I have to make myself establish at this place and let them know, you know, before I just go down there and start filming shit. So people don't get in their feelings and all this shit. Because, you know, people already 
think that you have an agenda from the beginning. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? What the camera for, man? What the camera for? This is to show the people what's going on and to hopefully get somebody from the city to see this shit and participate with a motherfucker. Instead of asking them dumbass questions, what you doing, what you doing, what you doing? You should have this motherfucking shit on broadcast too, nigga. I'm just saying, though. I can't tell everybody what to do. I can't tell everybody what to do. People got their own minds, man. People, they got their own minds. They do what they want to, just like I do. You know, people tell me shit. If it makes sense, if I think it's feasible, then, you know, I'll apply it. But if, if, I, if it sound crazy to me, and if I go through the motions of applying the shit and it don't work, then no, I'm not going to apply that shit. I'm just going to let that shit go in one ear and out the other. I done got hungry, man. I don't even know what's in here to eat. Jesus. 60, that's all. That ain't even a whole. 60 times what is one Almost, I got 10 more minutes. I got 10 more minutes, nine more minutes. I think I can get three hours on Rob D. What you think? Three or four? I mean, I could keep going. Yeah, I mean, this stream is dope though, for real, because you're getting the really real. You're getting the uncut, raw shit from me. I think YouTube should allow everybody to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter if they cuss every other word or not. What is what is a curse word? What truly is a curse word? To me, when I think of curse words, I think of words that you say to put hexes on people. You feel stuff like that. I mean, shit, fuck, damn, motherfucking shit, goddamn asshole. They just words too. Now somebody and said, "Oh, those are curse words." So if you say those words. You're putting a cursing on someone. Okay, so if I said damn you, did I just put a hex on you or did I just say damn you? I mean, damn you, what is a damn? A damn is something that stops water from destroying some shit, right? Beavers build a dam. I know it makes no sense. I'm just trying to explain cuss words. Then everybody don't want to hear that. They are words that exist for a reason, and though we shouldn't say them, we do anyway. Yeah, we do. I know. Cause some words really is some really some words really are like a motherfucker. Somebody called me a motherfucker one time. I told them, well, if you kept your mom off the street, she wouldn't get fucked. They got mad. <laughs> they wanted to fight. So. You call me the motherfucker. So what I'm supposed to do? Okay. No, bitch. I'm going to say something back at you. Of course, these was my young days. You feel me? This shit in my older days, man. I really, you know, I'm tired. I've been on this motherfucker half a century. By the grace of God. By the grace of God, the Almighty, the Most High, the Divine Creator. Him. Because there's been plenty of times where I just could have been like, fuck this shit. Yeah. And that right there, they are. They ex they're right. They exist for a reason because they were used. Those words, they're meant to be used. And you can say them without harming somebody, without hurting somebody's feelings. You can say all those words. Yeah. It's just called knowing how to use them. I mean, you know, when, when you say the word bitch, all oh, the women get, they go in a frenzy. What you call me a bitch? Whoa, young lady. Whoa, I did not call you a bitch. The situation may have been a bitch. Okay? 
One of my guys said a guy gave him the bird days. Gave him the bird days ago because he had his mask on. And the guy who flipped him off was on a bike. And asked, why are you wearing that mask? And he responded, mind your business. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Fair enough. He ain't cuss him out or nothing. He just said, mind your business. I see me, I probably would have threw about three more extra words in there just to get my point across. Clearly. And then sometimes those words have an effect when you use them because when you say them, you catch people off guard and then you get their attention. Like, yeah. But see, every other, when you saying every other word, then it's like, dang, you just you just cussing. But then when you using them properly, it's like, oh, okay, I see the point. I see the point. Even though we shouldn't say them. Dude rode off on the bike saying that mess isn't going to protect you, but God will. Well, you got to think about it. God gave him the sense to even put the mask on. So in a sense, God is protecting him. Yeah. God gives us the mind. Live conversations with Tanya Day. What's up? Uh-huh. They closed it down. So you might need to open the back of the car to all bank you know. <laughs> And Terrence? Oh, for real? So it ain't even the easy money no more. Hmm. Nope. Interesting. I would do something with that though. I would do something with it. It probably I mean, what would I what would I put right there though? I wouldn't put nothing with no money in it, cause it's subject to get robbed, and then the highway right there too. Hmm, what could I put right there? A daycare? Nah. Yeah, I'm lying. It's too many. I, I wouldn't be working now. Shit. <laughs> What about a uh, animal shelter? Yeah, you could do that. A hoop. Yeah, cause they got the they got the regular park across the street over there, across the highway. Or a splash pad. Well, it ain't really off the. It's just like you could. Put it back because, well, yeah, damn, the building is off the main street. But then you got to look at some that's from revenue all the time. Exactly. No, that's what I'm trying to. Well, the other thing I can see is a restaurant. Because they got the, um, they, they got the roadhouse down there. But it's all the way at the end. It's like in the middle. But then you need something close by the freeway. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that wing spot, terrible. That food's so nasty. That shit nasty. It definitely don't need to be another gas station. Hell no. They got raglash. Oh man, let me go on three hours, huh? I said I was going to end the live at three hours. Shit, I still feel like I got another hour in me, though. And then, this Rob D live anyway, so, you know, I don't even actually, I don't actually be going live on Rob D like that. So I guess it's like, I had a lot, a lot of shit to go over. 
within these three to four hours. Oh yeah, it's hot as hell. I'm about to go outside and talk some more. Sh talk some more shit. Oh, the, oh, 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 buddy next door, he doing some work. Yeah. No, nah, it ain't his shit, cause he on um, he's not black. <laughs> he's... Yep. That's what they did. Cause I thought it was the nephew. It's not. The nephew ain't got no damn Toyota truck. He got a Chevy. This is a Toyota truck, so Exactly. So it's either his house or it's that lady house across the street. I want They going They going They going buy it. Slow day. Slow day at work. I figured it was something, bro, because you'd have been gone by now. Grinding out there on the farm. All right, Bye. See, Tony D get attitudes when shit don't go her way. When I don't say shit that she don't like, she get an attitude. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> shit. You get over it, or you just keep being mad. I'm through with it. And that's the shit I be saying. We got to come to a fucking agreement on some shit, man, because this shit ain't working. All that anger, all that arguing shit, that shit, I'm, that shit is, that shit old. Yeah, most of what I need Oh, most of what needed to be done is done already. I have one hour left before I go to the crib. You got one more hour, bro. One more hour. I'm trying to see, do I really want to stay on live? Because, I, I mean, if I get off, I ain't got shit to do. And then I be and said to myself, damn, I could have said something about this on my live. And I didn't. So I'm just hanging on this motherfucker just in case some come up there in this little TikToker that I need to get out. <laughs> Because I'm really, I'm trying to see, do I want to go back outside and start talking more shit? And let them hear my God, because I go outside and just start talking loud. Then the neighbors going to start coming outside and like, what is he talking about? But then sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to stand out in your front yard and talk to yourself. So that way, when the other folks ride by, they see you out there and be like, what is this? What is he doing? And then somebody will stop. But the people that's already here... They ain't gonna have no choice. Cause if I go get this microphone and turn this speaker on, yeah, they might call the police. The other farm hands are resting as well. Our day is just about over and the sun sets here around 6.30 p.m. It's 5.07 now. Oh man, y'all got about another good hour for that sun. Soak it in, bro. I might need to go outside myself for real and soak in some more of this sun and let it hit my arm. Um, let it add some more to my melanin. Let me get some more melanation out here. I call myself trying to find something to eat. I still got that email though, bro. I'm going to check it out. Oh, matter of fact, I can look at it right here. Yeah, let's do that there. Okay. Where I'm at? Where I'm at? Where I'm at? Here you go. Let me check this out right here. And then I be getting all these crazy ass emails and shit. It's you see the light, I'm like, damn, it look different. I got a virtual call tomorrow about, oh, peep the game. Somebody, they said they hiring for some actors and actresses in, what this is, an open call. They got some type of movies they trying to put folks in, so they just, I said I was going to do it here. Why not, you know? 
I've been in the movie game before. A lot of people don't really know, but I was in a movie. <laughs> I probably I was an extra in the movie, but I was in a movie. <laughs> Extras don't really count. I wasn't a star. Shit, yes, extras do count. I got paid for that. Shit, I got paid for that, Jack. What's up, guys? Hope you're having a good day. Okay, let's, let's listen to this right here. Gas station about to get some gas, but I wanted to do a quick one more yeet video for you guys because uh, I know I got some new subscribers because of the couple yeet videos. So I'm going to give you guys one more this week. And then I don't know if I'll do another one for a while. See what my boy but, talking about here. I don't want to offend anybody here. Now, I know this is kind of like... It's, I think a lot of people pretend that it's, that it's a, a sensitive topic. But in actuality, to me it's not. And I think people put on a persona online and pretend like they get offended about things when they really don't. But here's what I want to talk about. And feel free to, to chime in in the comments. Give me your thoughts on this. I'm finna chime in. Why does Yeet... And other rappers, white rappers too, not just Yeet, but in this video specifically Yeet, why does he not say nigga in his, in his rap songs? Um, he don't even sound right saying this of, shit. Like, if you listen to black rap music. Why are you saying nigga? That's my music, question. Right? So it's kind of a See how he music. say nigga and I say nigga? But then you get these white rappers that come in. Listen, listen. And they avoid saying it in their music. But here's the thing. There has been multiple videos of proof of these famous white rappers saying it in their personal lives. Eminem has said it. Oh, Eminem Most said it like a motherfucker. It. You can go Google the video. I don't, that's why I, I ain't never like Eminem ass. Video, Fuck you, Eminem. Song, watching, you racist bastard. Uh, a show called Two Yeah. I don't give a fuck where you from. I don't even know how they condone that shit in the D. I don't even understand how niggas condone that shit in the D, man. You got a white boy up here talking about niggas like a dog. Made such a big deal out of it at the time. This was back in like 2015. And I'm like, who gives this shit? It's a word. The the more you um put this gate around the word and, and act like only certain people can get inside this gate to say it, the more power you give to that word. And I don't know Yeet. I've never met Yeet. Um, maybe some guy, somebody watching this video has met him. Does he say it in his personal life? Because I'm, I'm going to give you guys the honest, raw truth here. When I was growing up in my neighborhood where I'm from, in Jacksonville, Florida, I don't live there anymore, but I, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. And when I was growing up, all my white friends said nigga. Every freaking one of them. What's up, nigga? How you doing today, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like that, That's just how you talk. That's how you talk. And... It is what it is. I don't condone this so, shit. And I know a lot of these white rappers, like I said, Eminem has said it. Post Malone has said it. Stitches. I don't know if any of you guys know who Stitches is, but he had that Brick in Your Face song back in 2014. Fire I don't. Song. He says nigga all the time. And See, you, you when you saying guys, nigga, who are you talking nigga, about? Fuck, you know what I mean? Uh, who who are you talking about when you say nigga? White boy. Um, That's my question. Fat Joe, he says it. And fuck Fat that Joe, too. It, but he still says it. So here's my he Puerto question. Rican. And I'm not saying Yeet specifically, but are, are most white rappers scared to say it because they don't want to face backlash if they do? Because um, look, Nav, Nav, the Indian rapper, he used to say it too. And then he stopped saying it because people, a few people made an article, a media article about it, got mad at him. I say... How many views this it, fool got on this shit? 800,000 views. It's nigga. It's just a word. Who gives a shit? I mean, if, if you say it, um, and you have a black friend and he gets upset about it, then you guys can have a discussion and you can just tell him, look, I just say it. It doesn't mean anything racist to me personally. So I'm just saying it because I don't care. So he sounds exactly. If, mm. if want you still say it, then you got to decide. Do I still want to be friends with this guy? You don't say it. Do you say it because you don't him? care. And then you make he don't want you saying it because you're but, uh, being disrespectful to him. I just had a song called, uh, the, the name of the song was called Fuck Nigga. And, uh, he I don't even sound it. right saying that Fuck shit. Niggas. It was such a fire song. Look it up. There's a video for it. He don't even sound That's right saying that shit. Goes, uh, they told me stop saying it, nigga. You is a dumb nigga. Like basically saying like how the media is like, why is this white guy saying nigga? And he's like, fuck you, I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, if Yeet doesn't want to say it, then I totally... Well, bro, I got, I got one... Nigga is a black it, word, it, okay? And then he avoids purpose. That's just it. Using the word in his music? Nigga's a black yeah. word. I, I, I said in my Yeet video, I said that... Nigga is a country. Black it's too wild, bro. Street guys. 
I'm gonna tell him to listen to the etymology. If she did say nigga, do you think the hood would fuck with him more? Because they're like, oh, he relates to us. He talks like us. Because I feel like when white rappers avoid saying it, that's why a lot of black people can't like relate to the music. Like if they heard like nigga and you were just talking normal, I think more hood dudes would talk would would mess with it. And then white guys would too, because they're saying it to their boys. When I was in college, all the white dudes were saying it to each other. All the nerdy white guys, what's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody gave a nobody gave a fuck. So, and I don't see any white YouTubers saying it, like Bob Lamb, you know, shout out to Bob Lamb. I never heard him say it. Does he say it in his personal life? You'd have to ask him that. I'd, I'd be willing to bet that he does or around certain people. Exactly. Know, you say that shit around like, certain people. You say that shit around when you're drunk, like, the up, niggas that allow you to say it. Well, you know, plain and simple. Only certain people. And if you a nigga... That allow white boys to say this shit around you they're, they're like it's fucking gay. cool. Is this person gonna be cool with me saying it? Mm. Say it? Bro, but just I'm, he from Florida. So, what do you guys think? Do you think so, he says it in his personal life? Should he say I'm it? I'm like, like, nah, you, 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 I don't, I ain't. Do you think too much power to that word? Should you just say nigga and not care about the ramifications? It's just a freaking word. Yeah, it's you a freaking word. Anyway, guys, if you've never been here before, please subscribe. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts on this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't get it though. I still don't condone that shit. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not. I have never seen a white person in nigger in the country of nigger. Matter of fact, bro, I'm finna pull this shit up right here, and I want you to listen to this, and let me know what you think about this. But you not already heard that shit though, cause I sent it to you already. The etymology of the N word explained by KRS One and Mike Epps. KRS One breaks down the true meaning of the N word to Mike Epps. Let's let's listen to this. Only three minutes. Let's listen to this right here. Listen to this shit. Uh oh. Come on. The correct spelling of the word nigga. Is N I G E R, not two G's. G E R. Yes, N I G E R is the is the original spelling of the word nigga. They put two G's it, on it. They put two G's on it to degrade the one G. Oh man. Okay, they put two G's on to degrade the one. What they're calling us is a degradation, but the word itself is not a degradation. In mm -hmm. fact. The original niggas are teachers and prophets. The original niggas. The original niggas. Oh, matter of fact, because I'm going to wow. go. Come on with it, man. The, Come on with it. When the teacher well, speaks, I it's listen. This white dude, this racist that's degradating our names. And because we believe in this dude so much, we yeah. say, oh, man, we shouldn't use the word nigger. We shouldn't use the word nigger. Nah. You should always use the word nigga. Exactly. That's why. That is the word that defeated them. That's what. Imagine. That's why I'm going to keep using a it. A colonist, which is what they are, imperialists and colonists, they coming in your land to steal your stuff. That's their only purpose. Okay? So they go there and they say, who's the king? They say, the nigga. Hmm. Right here. And some hmm. call us the nigga, the nigga, the naga. Niggas, niggas. N e g u s for those that don't know. The king, niggas. Ethiopian king was called niggas. Some people say niggas. I get it. I get it. It's sort of like saying Michael Jordan. And then we say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's one of the greatest athletes on the planet. Okay. So, so it's all about so, so, so that word, that word is so powerfully disrespectful in this country because, because, uh, because white folks are degrading it. It's the emotion behind it and the real true feeling about the word. Because, because white folk are saying nigga why they hating us. We don't want to use the word, but what we got to understand is that the, the very word nigga, N-I-G-E-R, that word. Speak. The correct spelling of the word nigga is N-I-G-E-R, not two G's, one G-E-R. Yes, N-I-G-E-R is the, is the original Damn, spelling it started of the over. Nigga. I listened to it again. They put two G's on it to degrade right. the one G. Right, right. Oh, okay, they put two G's on it to degrade the 
one. What they're calling us is a degradation, but the word itself is not a degradation. Mm. In fact, the original niggas are teachers and prophets. Ooh. The original niggas. The original niggas. Well, matter of fact, because I want to wow. come on, man. That shit was deep. On, I got to make a short out of that, bro. It's a <laughs> white I got to make a short out of that. Degrading our names, and because we believe in shout out Eritrea. So much, we yeah. say, oh man, we shouldn't use the word nigga. We shouldn't use the word nigga. Nah, you should always use the word nigga. Always. That is the word that defeated them. That's what. Imagine. Imagine. That's why they don't want us to say nigga. That's why they want the white boys to say nigga now. And they want us to accept that shit. I don't accept that shit, my nigga. I'm sorry. White boy come around me talking about some nigga this, nigga that. I'm going to check his ass. I don't give a fuck if we cool or not. Bro, do you understand what you saying? Just because I say it, I'm one of them. I've never seen a white nigga unless he in South Africa. You heard me. That's, that's deep. That's deep. I get it. I get it. It's, it's sort of like saying Michael Jordan. Say, then, say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's one of the greatest athletes on the planet. Okay. So, so it's all about so, so, so that word, that word is so powerfully disrespectful in this country because, because, uh, because uh, white folks are degrading it. It's the emotion behind it and the real true feeling about the word. Because because white folk are saying nigga while they hating us, we don't want to use the word. But what we got to understand is that the, the very word nigga, N-I-G-E-R, that word means king. King. That, is, that was our word. My so nigga. If China was to invade America, the first thing they would say is president is a derogatory term. <laughs> Anybody calling themselves a president is, is yeah, you know, yeah, like it, yeah. so the president is derogatory. Yeah. You let three, four generations go by of you being taught in school, president is a racial epithet. President is not what you want to say. Don't say president. You let some generations go by. After a while, you don't even want to say president anymore, even though Barack Obama is our first African American president. So <clears throat> it's this white colonial racist actually institutional racist racism that's making us hate ourselves and this is what self-hate is you would think mm -hmm. so I say, if you say the word nigga you're hating yourself you're degrading yourself nah if you're not saying the word nigga you're degrading yourself wow you heard that bro i got to make a short of that shit if you're not saying the word nigga you're degrading yourself Nigga, the etymology of the word. Yes, bro. When I first heard that shit, bro. Bro, I tried to tell the whole goddamn world. Bro, y'all not understanding the words. People around, that's why I said, man, you, you must, man, nigga is so 1963. Nigga, it's 2024. Do you even know what the word nigga mean for real, for real? Let me check the opposite of that. Yeah, it's plenty of opposites, bro. I done heard them too. But if the teacher got the books, <laughs> these niggas ain't got no books to back what they saying. <laughs> these niggas ain't... Yeah. $69 US special... Let me see. I'm 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 a, I'm on the other video now. At it again, media live. Travis Scott lets white fan rap the N word during a concert. See what I'm saying? That's that shit right there. That's how they get shit fucked up. And see what I'm saying? When we do shit like this, it don't make it no better. So now, he in the crowd, oh, I said nigga. It was cool. I said I got to say nigga in front of the whole crowd. 
He probably ain't never said that word out loud in his life until that day. See, I'm, I'm, I'm look, they, they, they'll just have to be mad at me. And I ain't gonna lie. One of these young rappers around here, I told him about that shit. I showed him about the etymology of the word nigga, where it came from. Soon as he did that song with that white boy, I was like, look, man, look, watch this video. And then let me know how you feel about this shit after you, let me know how you feel about making that song with that white boy. If you don't care, then I, I know what type of motherfucker you are. You feel me? I know, I know what type of motherfucker you are and I know how long of a handle I need to spoon feed your ass. Cause see, no matter how good you is, or no, no matter how good you are, when your morals start getting fucked up, that take away, that takes away a lot from your character. Real talk. At it again, I see y'all live too. When more people live. Yeah, but when I heard, shh, when I heard that though, bro, when KRS1 said that shit, I was like, wow, finally somebody that went and did some research on this damn word and come to find out this shit is a whole country and it's the country when i first found out about the n-i-g-e-r word i said oh that's nigga no they said they told me they told me that it's pronounced niger but that's after the french had already changed the name of it and took it over see the french them french motherfuckers was powerful back in the day they done took over a whole lot of countries, too. But they done got their ass whooped a lot, too. But still, they done made their imprint on a lot of fucking countries because their language is spoken thoroughly in some, in some African countries. Shit, for real. They speak French. They don't even speak their own language no more. Just like over here in America, before they brought our ancestors over here, and the ancestors that was already here before they came here and polluted their minds with this English bullshit, they were speaking another language and it wasn't English. Okay? A lot of people don't understand that shit. English comes from England. God dang. I don't understand how they just all of a sudden Say you American, so you're English. Wait a minute. I'm American. I ain't English nothing. I might speak that shit, but even then, when I, I still don't speak it correctly according to the way they want me to speak it, because if you peep the game, take your ass to London and listen to how they speak English, or Britain, and listen how they speak English. And then when you start speaking your English, they're going to be like, are you American? He's an American. He doesn't know how to... What the fuck? We speak in the same language, ain't we? You just British. I'm just American. But see, a lot of this shit came from when the British and the English came over here to America and stole all our shit. Just like you said, bro, hold on. That's all they do is steal. They steal. That's all they do. They done stole all our shit. What's 60 times 4? 24. Yeah. They done stole all our shit. And then we around here co-signing shit. Like, damn, that's why re-educate to educate, bro. I, I don't know. I, I might have to pay somebody to get that shit put on a major record, on a major um, 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 radio station or something. Because if don't nothing else sell, if they don't hear nothing else, what fuck about, if they don't hear nothing else from me, let them hear re-educate to educate. Yeah, and they be like, ooh. Boy, if that shit don't resonate with somebody, somebody, because I know folks done been on a job before and they didn't had to work with some coon ass, sell out ass niggas that do this. Yeah, you tell them, a black man tell them some, they, they, they like, oh no, nah, I ain't listening to what that nigga say. But soon as Uncle Tom, I mean, not Uncle Tom, but soon as Mr. Charlie say something, they treat that shit like gold. Oh, what well, Mr. Charlie says, right. 
What you just said, nigga, you ain't even said the same thing as Mr. Charlie. But Mr. Charlie just said the exact same thing you said. So what the fuck is he talking about? That's why I say. Even though this 2024, we may have came a long way, but oh my gosh, the road is still so far to go. That's why they say we should not cast our pearls into the enemy because our own invention stemming from our brilliance will be used, yes, against us for millions that we don't get a part of. bro. and it's going down. It's been going down. That's why they say we should not cast our pearls to the enemy. No, we should not. We should not. Because they don't do the enemy. Bro, you know what the enemy does, right? What the enemy came here to do? Kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the enemy does. Them three things right there. So you have to ask yourself. Is this motherfucker doing this shit right here? Is he trying to kill me? Is he trying to steal something from me? Is he trying to destroy what I built? That's the enemy. That is your enemy. All this, the enemy of my enemy is my friend shit. Mm -hmm. You have to take that shit right there like real lightly with a grain of salt. Because the enemy of my enemy, even if he may be my friend, he's still going to be my motherfucking enemy. I mean, you know, hey, <laughs> that's crazy. I got like 43, wait, 30, hold on, 40. Wait a minute. Did I see? 33 minutes left, yeah. I'm going to go for 30 more minutes. And then I'll end it. Oh, this, bro, this girl right here, I don't even know, I can't, she not ready to pull her car to the back. She hiding her car from the repo, man, so she pull up pull a car around the side of the house to where they can't get it. And that's what I heard. I'm like, pay your car note. But see, you can't just say that because you don't know what the fuck she going through over there. She might have a whole bunch of other shit to where she can't pay our car note. See what I'm saying? You can't just say that. And she might need her car to go to work so she can pay her fucking bills. She ain't got no kids, though. She don't, but the other girl do. So, I mean, you know, we, man, it's, it's always something, man. It's, it's always something. Yeah, it's always something. Living on the radar. Nah, it ain't easy, bro. Living under the radar. <laughs> no, it is not easy at all. Well, ain't no telling. I might just shit. I might just, ain't no telling. But I feel, I feel so good. The doctor said, how have you been feeling? I said, man, for the last week, I've been feeling great every fucking day. Every day, last week, I'm feeling great. I could have did, a, I think I did one live. Because, see, YouTube is cool. Don't get me wrong. But then when I come doing a live every fucking day, like some people, I, I, get, I get burnt out on this shit. You feel me? I get burnt. Let me, let me make it to like 60. You feel me? When I become an elder. And when I can just do lives every fucking day. You know? Until I get to that point, I'm just going to do them how I feel like. Doing them, man. You feel me? And sh what, I, what I really need to do is get back in that studio. For real. I want to get back in that studio, bro. I got I got four I got four songs, man. Four four new songs too. That's what's up. Health is wealth, man. What? Real talk. Health is wealth. Real talk. I know we just be saying that, but shit, the reality is real. Health is wealth. Bro. I appreciate that, bro. That rap, man. When I listen to Be Messiah Lane, I listen to that shit. I like, bro. How the fuck can I get? I need to. I need to. I need to get that song and copyright it for real and put.
put that on my next album for real and just let that be like an extra song. Or I could just make it a single. That be Messiah Lang, be Messiah Lang. Good vibes. And then I'm doing the Tagaylo rapping that shit. Ain't nobody doing that. But people from, but people that speak Tagaylo. You feel me? I forgot that rapper. He speak, he, he rapping Tagaylo. And he pretty fire too, because he be spitting that shit. He be spitting. I don't know what he be saying, but he be spitting. I ain't gonna lie. Dude be spitting. And somebody had put me on to him. That's why, man, I've been on YouTube too long. And I ain't been on there long enough. I can't even remember who that was that put me on to this guy. But he, man, I ain't going to lie. Bro, is he tight. He tight with it. I be listening to fucking, I be listening to rappers all overseas. In East Asia, Far East Asia. Thailand, um, Eleven Finger. Eleven Finger dope to me. Easy Meal is a dope rapper from the Philippines. I think that's him. No, he ain't signed with Eminem, did he? Oh, my God. Damn, uh, Easy Meal. Why you do that? I don't respect Eminem at all. Did you hear the song that he sang? <coughs> Bro, did you hear the song, the Eminem song? About, did you hear Eminem racist song? Hold on, let me play. I got to get that shit. I got to play that. I'm like, wow, for real? And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to tag this video because I done talked about a lot of shit. <laughs> okay, you heard it years back. I ain't got to play it no more. I ain't ready to want to play that shit no more. No way. I can't take another song dissing black people, calling us out our names. But then, it ain't the fact that he called us niggas. It's the fact that he called us monkeys. Then he dogged the sisters out. So I'm like, wait a minute. It's just the same nigga that was going with a black girl. And because she cheated on the nigga or something, that nigga made a whole rap song dogging niggas and the girl. I'm like, wow. Benzino did two disc records on M recently. For real? Recently? Hold on, bro. Let me, let me pull this shit up. I ain't heard. See, bro, I, ain't, I promise I... I guess I've been, I ain't really been up on my hip hop like I used to be. I guess because I've been so busy trying to do my own shit that I ain't really been keeping up with what's been going on for real, for real. And then a lot of these rappers fake as fuck anyway. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to get in that category like that. You feel me? I ain't, oh, you a rapper? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, bruh. I raps. Listen to what I rap about before you go to talking that shit. And then I know you're going to say it's whack because I ain't talking about killing the motherfucker selling. I ain't talking about killing the motherfucker slanging packs. That's why you said my shit is so motherfucking whack, but I don't give a damn about that. I'm putting you up on game. You going to motherfucking know my name. Hey, I said too many explicatives in that, but that's just what came out the top of my dome just then. But Problem is, I wish bro had ghostwriters. I can't respect authenticity. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's garbage. <laughs> he can credit raps if the rapper didn't write his or her own bars. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But he wrote that shit. And that shit, wow. Can credit raps if the rapper didn't write his own his or her own bars. Yeah, you can credit it. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly what you mean. Right. Give him a pass because he didn't really, he didn't say that shit. Somebody wrote it for him. Benzino admitted he had help with those Eminem disses. <laughs> right. Can't credit rap if the rapper didn't write his own on bars. Yeah, Benzino. Ben, but Benzino ain't no fucking real rapper. Benzino, I, when I think of Benzino, I think of Benzino as the editor, as the magazine man. You feel me? I know he rapped. I know he did. He did rap, but his raps wasn't appealing to me. You feel me? I liked him better in the Source magazine. Now, that shit was fire. 
That's where he got all his bread from. The magazine. His rapping skills probably like Rob Allbanks. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know though. Shit. I'm not saying I'm the best rapper alive. You feel me? Shit. But I damn sure ain't the worst. And see, that's the thing. You know, I know people say, hey, man, if you ain't getting on the microphone telling how hard you is, you ain't hard. Man, fuck that. What I got to tell you how hard I am? Why don't I just show you and talk about something else that's meaningful? I can show you how hard I am like that by telling you the truth. Ain't nobody telling the truth. Nigga, that's hard to me. When the nigga get up there on the microphone and, and start telling the truth about some shit, well, you can't get no harder than that. Because it take a motherfucker with some courage just to do that. Because in, in all these smooth rappers get up here, on the, they get in the studio, get on the microphone or whatever, and they just go to talking and lying. Well, I ain't going to say they lying. Some of them might be telling the truth, but then a lot of them be fabricating shit too. You feel me? I know all y'all rappers are slaves to the contracts. Because if you ain't independent, you sign with somebody. You somebody's uh what you you somebody's puppet. Pretty much. You have to rhyme to their beat. You can't rhyme what you want to rhyme. Cause the label might not want to hear that shit. The label wants you to keep putting out putting them drug slangers out. The label wants you to keep putting them bodies out there. They don't want you to say, they, the label don't want you to tell the people to put the guns down. Let's come together. Let's get these reparations so we can get what we are owed. The label don't want to hear that shit because then the label ain't going to get no more money. The label pimping you to keep talking that garbage so that the people can, can keep buying that shit so that they can keep getting money off of you. Only for the people to say, it's them rappers' fault. Blame them rappers. It's what they're saying has got the kids. Mm. And every time I hear somebody say blame the rappers, you know what I be wanting to tell them? Like Pimp C told the record company people, shut the fuck up. It's not the rappers' fault that your son went and got a gun. Listen to what I just said. Listen to the words that I just said. It's not Cool G Rap's fault that your son then picked up this gun and went and murked old buddy. That's not Cool G Rap fault. Because Cool G Rap didn't give your son that gun. Cool G Rap don't even live in your motherfucking house. Big up to Cool G Rap, straight up OG in the game, for sure, for sure. He one of the ones I I started listening out to that was that was, you know, gangster gangster for real, for real. You know, that was about that life like that. You know, a lot of these rappers, you know, they be saying some things. And then, not to say that everything that Cool G did or said on his songs was true, but the word in the street, his character went a long way. You feel me? Them cats in the street, they was like, yeah, Cool G rap really about this shit. And you could tell. Yeah, you seen the drugs and shit that he, I mean, you know, you seen all the shit. And when I was younger, I was like, oh, this nigga right, yeah, he got, and then he's, you, he's solid. But he was telling you the truth. He wasn't lying. Cool G Rap didn't tell me to go pick up a gun. No, Rob did that on his own. Just by hearing some things and seeing some other things. See, what Cool G Rap did was open the eyes to what's going on out here in these streets. So... When you call, when you want to go out here in these streets, then you gonna have to succumb to the streets. You gonna have to get that iron. You gonna have to take that pistol with you everywhere you go. Yeah, cause I see, I see the young boy now. They standing out here in the front, in the front of their own house, strapped the fuck up, down. You know why? Because they paranoid that what they did to somebody. It's going to come back on them while they out there in the front yard. Somebody going to do a drive-by on their ass. I mean, you know, shit like that happened. Like I said, we didn't had how many? This is the seventh murder that happened last night. 
within the last seven days. So motherfuckers been getting killed every day. Every day. In Birmingham, Alabama. Country ass Birmingham, Alabama now. Yeah. And then little buddy getting on here talking about, oh man, Birmingham, this, Birmingham, that. Chicago, I'm Chicago. I ain't got no diss to Chicago. I love Chicago because I got fam in Chicago, nigga. But, but, okay, we go ham down here, bro. I'm just here to tell you. And like my boy Hen Dog said, you fuck around and be in the wrong neighborhood, your ass gonna get shot in the face for real. Yeah, that shit didn't happen before. Yeah, it was on the news too. Yeah. So, you know, it's a lot of shit that's going on around here that's not mentioned either. Shit, I don't know everything, and neither am I trying to know everything. Because I ain't trying to get my name caught up in none of that shit, man. No. Because then somebody going to be coming looking for Rob. Man, you know Rob, goddamn, was around there when the old boy got fucking killed, and they said he set it up. And Rob ain't had shit to do with it. Now, just because of that lie... Motherfucker looking for Rob. Talking about, he, you set up my homeboy. Why well, ain't he know that nigga? What you mean? See, that's how shit in the game. Shit in the game. Like, labels invest in anything just to make the money back, which is why they have investments in the prison system. Yes, yeah, sir, bro. Yep. Yep. It's sad to say I failed in that motherfucking pipeline, too. I fell in it. I did. I fell in it. Ghettos are the same all over the world. They stink. Jim Kelly. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Jim. Well, the ghetto wouldn't stink if you clean that motherfucker up. Real talk. Because you know what? I can take you to some decent projects. You wouldn't even think they the projects. For real. Let me see how much time I got. It's 445, Tanya D. Because, see, if I get out there on the road and start driving, Tanya D going to call me, and then I ain't going to have my whatchamacallit with me. And I'm going to have to answer it, and that's going to mess up the whole video. That's going to mess the whole live up. Dang. Because I can take you now. And, matter of fact, they just let's just say that they're not in the hood, okay, per se. They're not in the hood. These projects, not in the hood. These projects are really meant for what, these projects are where most projects were really meant to be for these poor white people. Because that's what the projects was for. That's what welfare was for. Government housing was for. That shit was not for us because our ancestors were slaves, yo. You think they gave a damn where we slept? We slept back there in the back house or the outhouse somewhere. Ghettos are the same all over the world. They stink. What time? I got... Hold on, hold on, hold on. 17 more minutes. I got to go for 17 more, bro. They in the attic. We in the basement. <laughs> Real talk. It's 447, 557, 5. You about to get off in 15 more minutes. I said 15 more minutes. I said 17 to make it three, make it four whole hours. It's cool, bro, because if you got the dip, then, you know, much respect. Enough respect. You've been shit. You've been rocking with me like a cutoff stocking the whole way anyway. So, you I mean, if you got to go, I, I, I respectfully understand that for real because I know I'll be ready. You know, I when it's time to go home, you be ready to go home. You feel? I, I know what you, I know. I know. It's all good, bro. Shit. If you got the dip, man, be safe on your way to the crib. And tell Tia, tell Tia, you know what I'm saying? Enough respect. Bless up to Tia all day, every day. You got work? Oh, you leave work at 6? Oh, it's all good, bro. I mean, you know, if you got something... If you got something, because shit, we rapping? Shit, this is, this is what rapping is all about right here, for real. This is what rapping is all about when people talk to each other. A lot of people don't understand that. Shit, we all rappers. Real talk. We all rappers. Anytime we can get together. Oh, okay, you don't got to go to six. Well, I appreciate you for hanging in here with me, bro, giving me the conversation. 
Because I'd probably just be talking. I still probably be saying the same shit. I'd probably just be using a lot more curse words. Because <laughs> when I engage in conversation with you, I, I try to take out some of the explicatives. And to make to, to tr at least try to make a a decent sentence, a sound sentence, you know. But even though even in my explicatives, you know, I get it off. Tia says hello. What's up, Tia? Hey, Tia. Thank you, Tia. Muchísimas gracias por jugando mi música. Or or did I say that right, proud? Por bailando. Yeah. Tia got me wanting to dance. I ain't even, I ain't, man, hold on, I'm tripping. I said I was going to play a song, I ain't even played it. I wanted, I was trying to find that um rap fame song. I was, I wanted to play that shit, that shit right there, it's nice. I ain't even going to lie. I like that if somebody else was on it. I think the beat got me. She going to be 72 years old this year. 72 is a great year. Lord willing, inshallah, she'll get there. 72 is a blessed number. That's a great number. I sure hope to see it. I sure hope you get to see it too, Tia. 72. It's a great year. 72. I remember 72. Like I was born in 72. That's a great number. 72. I love I like that. 72. Hot damn. I show, man. And see, I got I got this. Bro, that's why I say I hadn't been in the studio, man. Damn, studio prices then went up. My fucking money ain't went up. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get a raise on my money. The goddamn power bill really set me the fuck back. Them cold days, fuck man. Them cold ass days, my man. The power bill shot up through the roof. I ain't tripping on the water. I can let the water go like two or three months before I have to pay it. But I don't. I like to pay my shit when it's time to pay it. But see, I already know what what the power the power company what they do is they charge you all these outlandish fees just so that they can turn your shit off. Then you have to pay a charge to get it. A re you got to pay a reconnect fee. You gotta pay that fee, then you gotta pay the, the regular fee, you gotta pay late charges. Man, Alabama Power, a southern company. Yeah, and that southern company is, I think, hooked up with Georgia. I know it's hooked up with Georgia. It's Georgia Power and Alabama Power on the same type of time. I don't know about Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi, New Orleans. I don't know about I don't know about them. But if they say it's a southern company, then shit. That means some more, some other states tied into it, too. Because I believe Alabama and Georgia is like the two racist states in fucking America. For real. But there are others. There are others. Yeah, man. This inflation shit is really... Is, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm affected. I'm affected. <clears throat> Not just me, but we. We affected. We doing, you know what I'm saying? We doing good to pay our bills and shit. You know, get some food on the table. But like this extra shit, bro, that extra shit ceased for real. And I'm just, I'm just starting it early. By the second half of this year, it's, man, don't say that, bro. Because I'm like, man, everybody, it's like. America, not America, but the United States. You feel me? I say the United States because the United States took over America for real. That's why it's called the United States of America. Then you remember in, in, in Reeducate to Educate, I also said living in these divided states, supposed to be united, but too much hate. Governmental control on every border. You feel me? On every border. Call somebody who cares. Here's a quarter. <laughs> hey, that line. Dopest line of the year right there. Call somebody who cares. Here's a quarter. Oppressor's job is to keep you suppressed. So when you thought these pagan holidays was for you. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. That song right. I think. 
I'm going to have to start promoting that song a little bit more. Yeah, you're right. You know, you're right. It's, it's, it's been written. It's got to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's going to get real bad before it get much better. I got 10 minutes, 7 minutes, 453 here. The slap sound effect in that song always make me laugh. Hey, hey, proud. Look, when I was in the studio, I asked, I asked, um, I asked the engineer. I said, "You got a um, you got some um, um, god dang, I can't even think of what we call them, motherfuckers. Sound effects. Yeah, I asked him if he had sound effects. <laughs> he was like, "No, nah, I ain't got no sound effects." I'm like, I'm thinking in my head now. I'm like. Nigga, you ain't got no sound effects. What kind of studio you got? Maybe he ain't got the board for that. You feel me? So I was like, dang. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, this ain't no real studio, nigga, because the studio's supposed to have everything. And then I'm paying for this shit, so if I need a slap effect, you need to have that shit in the thing somewhere. Well, you can just punch it and the slap effect come through. You feel me? The slap effect just come through. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. I can't, shouldn't have hit myself two times. Damn. Two chains, two slaps. Oh, shit. My face red. Damn, did I slap the melanin off myself? Lord, have mercy. Look like I slapped the black eye. Then Tanya D say I'm getting eye bags and shit. Look at that shit, man. I, that's why I got to stop. That's why I don't be on YouTube so much. I be trying to support people, but God dang. And by no means am I trying to take the Lord's name in vain, okay? God damn. I say got, G-O-T, not G-O-D. God. You see what I'm saying? I'm country. I'm a country boy. Hey, bro, you heard about Beyonce new album? The new country album? And you know, that's what made me sit. But that line hits too because some people do say leave slavery in the past. Remember, I sent you the video of Akon saying people just need to let that go. Um, yep. Yep. Exactly, bro. So, I mean, shit. I'm like, man. See, the, and you know what, proud. It's been some people that didn't heard that song that I think ain't listening to it. Oh, some of these real rappers and heard that shit. You know why? I can tell because I hear their I, I hear their diction when they talk. I hear how they talk. And I'm like, damn. Maybe they didn't hear the song. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gaslighting myself. <laughs> I'm just hyping myself up. I'm just gaslighting myself, which is a very bad thing. But keep my motivations high. I'd be like, yeah. But I sent some, I sent that shit to Jadakus. Now, if, if it was the real Jadakus, I don't know. But he said that shit went hard. That's all I needed to hear. A nigga like Jada, listen to your shit and tell you, oh, that shit hard, boy. He was like, that shit hard. But it was something else he said I could have done. And I was like, okay. I respected that. But all I needed him to hear, all I needed to hear him say was that shit went hard, bro. I got it. He said it. If, if that was the real him now, you feel me? If that was the real him, that shit had me on 10. Even if it was a fake him, it still had me on 10 because I didn't know if it was the if it's the real him or not. It's just his name. You know what I'm saying? And he, he was having some type of contest. So I sent the shit in. I sent some shit to Timberland too. I even... Timlin, he let me do a freestyle on his, one of his beats. Yeah, I know it sounds far-fetched, but yeah, I did that shit. Matter of fact, it's on my Instagram, I think, because that's where I did the shit at. I tried to, but he wouldn't let me do it. He wouldn't let me, I wouldn't let, he wouldn't let me get it. I couldn't get it, because I was trying to goddamn download the shit out of that. Matter of fact, I can't even play it on him. Beyonce, yeah, I heard it also. I heard the backlash she got. Yeah. I mean, 
It's, I mean, how many times can we say Beyonce is only a one note, a one note, a one tune singstress, songstress, or whatever the term is? She only has one tune. And I ain't, I mean, you know, I like Beyonce, but not like that. I don't like Beyonce like that. You know what I mean? Because her folks, they did them girls in Destiny's Child wrong so that Beyonce can get that top spot and that shit wasn't cool. And and then the kid, the kid in the part, I think one of her, um, one of her parents was from Alabama. I don't know how true that is, but that just sounds like someone in these old shyster ass Alabama niggas are doing. Kick out the kick out the rest of the girls in the group, just so your daughter can get all the all the publicity and shine and shit. But they the ones who really sing. I don't know, Miss Knowles, Mr. and Mrs. Knowles. I call shenanigans. I call shenanigans. I really do. Okay, four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. I'm going to end this thing. I know it's your time, bro. I appreciate you for hanging in there with me. Appreciate the discussions. Appreciate the conversation. Shit. I could do a live, you feel me? And just be us in that motherfucker. Because I know we talking some some righteous shit. If you ask for masters, do some syncs with it. Or license publishing because your masters are only good for what you intend to do with them for those that don't understand. Word. If you ask for your masters, do some syncs with it. Well, I publish, yeah, I publish my own music. Yeah, I don't have, I mean, I publish my own shit. I don't even have nobody to do that for me. Well, I, I work with, I go through BMI. So I'm I'm down, I'm connected with BMI as far as my publishing goes. So I'm good now. If you ask for masters, do some syncs. I got to look into that. Do some syncs with it. Yeah, I license publishing. I license publishing all my music. Even the bullshit. <laughs> Even the songs that I freestyle on and just didn't have nothing, you know, just didn't have nothing to do, just put them on. I, I license them hoes too. Hopefully re-educate the educate gang to attention of mainstream ears. Well, you know what, bro? It would be cool, but you know, you know, I ain't even finna go out like Steve Harvey, fake ass. I hope that shit do hit the mainstream so that these folks can hear this shit. And then they're gonna be like, wow, this song is, it ain't even about the artist. It's about the song. The song is so true. My God. Oh, and when I had my, when I was driving my sister truck too, bro. Oh, man, the system in that thing. Ooh, the beat. Oh my goodness. You know I listened to the whole album, right? And that song, Arcade. That song right there, the beat on that song, it's, it's like, I was listening to the beat, I'm like, damn, this shit. When the, when the bass drop come in that thing, and it just, I'm like, ooh, that's nasty. So I'm like, if I had some subs, and that it just, I'm like, wow. Oh my goodness. One minute, one minute, you could have a mainstream hit with no business suits attached to it. There definitely are legal ways, which is the best way. I can dig that, bro. I definitely can dig it. I will keep passing the word out about your music to many locals as I can, bro. I sure do appreciate that. That's real talk for real. I got to sing you something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just cause. Just just cause you've been goddamn putting in work. Shit, I got the goddamn. I got to bless you, bro. Just let me get my shit together. It's coming. Later on my beast by Dre. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Hey, man. That beat right there, I got that beat from a future, a futuristic bass line. When I heard it, I was like, ooh, this shit right here gonna eat some subs up. 
And then when I came with the concept of the song, I was just thinking like, what can I rap? What can I rap about with this beat? And I was like, wait a minute, it's a At the gas station. I'm talking about I'm officially ran out of gas. Where you at? The gas light came on. What? The gas light came on. Okay. All right. Well, here I come. Mm. It's time for me to get off anyway. Yeah. Hell, I was still goddamn on live. You want to take me with you? I've been talking to Proud. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he got to go. He get off at six, so he, he probably gone. I'm gonna end the live anyway, cause it's already. I've been on four hours already. So I'm finna. Mm -hmm. I'm finna end this. Yeah, I've been having fun with this shit today. When I can cuss on this channel, I have fun. Okay. Uh, remember this. Remember this. South Southwood Construction. A contract. Construction. I think it is. Southwood. 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 Over there by, um, Write that down, Proud. Huh? I told PMC to write that down. Southwood Construction. I want to see who owned them for real, because they build it right across the street from, um, from, um, uh, what you call that place? From, um, from the New UAB. That's where they build it from, right? So, that's all they got out there. Hispanic. They sitting on their car right now. I guess they the call it a day. Yeah. But they the one working on that one. Right there across from where they got the UAB and but Jason gonna get his eyes checked. At Callahan. It's UAB. But yeah. that's, that's where the place is. But the place is right. You know, when you come down that road, they build them right there. That's what building is. So I wanna know who all South was. By the VA? I wanna do the background on them myself. It's probably, they probably from my grandma and too, ain't no telling. But yeah. Okay, well, let me get out this thing. All right, all right. All right. Okay, guys. That was Tanya D. It's time to go. Get Tanya D. So I appreciate everybody that's stuck in live with me. About to go out here on. Hope everybody have a great rest of their day. I know y'all sit here and watch Rob R, um, Rob D. That's me. The government. This the government Rob right here. So the government Rob is going to be unfiltered, straight up Rob. And also, come check Rob Allbanks out too. Check Rob Allbanks channel out. And also check out Rob Allbanks music. And on that note, guys, I'm about to get out of here. And say peace, love, reparations, soul to my people. Proud. What we on, what I'm doing now, proud, is I'm trying to expose these contractors out here that are using these immigrant workers. Yeah. That's what's on the agenda now. So on that note, guys, y'all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you later, alligators.